Rat does pills in exclusive consulage. Famous Fantasia, welcome to the HQ, man. Thank y'all for pulling up. Ooh. That's cute, right? HQ. That's it for higher quality. <laughs> hey, man, you know, you know how we do. Top notch. Just like y'all brands, high quality, top notch. And I want to just um, get into it, talk to, talk to the people, talk about y'all journey into fashion, and you know, how y'all do what y'all do. So, um, we gotta start with you, uh, Famous. Me? Famous loser the brand. Me? <laughs> famous loser the brand. Okay, should I talk directly into this? No, nope, just, just no? stay focused. Nope. I'll just stay focused, okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. All right, so. Famous loser the just brand, like, in. how did it come about? When famous did you get into brand. fashion and all that? So, Famous Loser the Brand actually came about in uh, 2008. It's when I manifested like the idea, like, mm -hmm. yo, this is what I want to call my brand. Um, I like the two names together. Mm -hmm. It was, I don't know exactly where the idea came from, but I remember I was in the, um, the YAMP program, which was like 47 North Lark Street. I had like a counselor named Dre, and I had told him like, I want to design, like I've been wanting to design. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's, to this day, I had the email that I sent him. That was in 2008. Mm -hmm. wow. When I like figured out like what I wanted, what I wanted for my brand, um, the name was always the same. I started doing like Famous Loser and Co on like my pictures at a point mm. at that time, but I don't really think anybody paid attention to it. Now, yeah. if they go back like on MySpace, probably converting it into Facebook, they'll probably see them because I have everything up there Are still. Are they converting it? Not convert. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Not converting it per se, but you know what I mean. Like we literally did, went from being on MySpace oh, all the time okay, 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 to going okay, okay. on Facebook. I thought you said we might see it if they convert it. I'm like, but no, not, not necessarily convert. Not nece all right, so let me rephrase that. Not necessarily yeah. convert, but like at that time when I decided to develop the brand, everybody was transitioning. Was the right word yeah, 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 yeah. from MySpace to Facebook? Yeah. So at that time, a lot of my stuff had like Famous Loser and Co on the mm -hmm. side of it because it was not always NYC added. I was like, mm, maybe I should do yeah, Co. Yeah, when did you add that? When I decided that I was gonna really go through with the brand, um, that was second year. That was 2006, 15 going on 2016. When yeah, I, so that I, was yeah. like a little bit later. later so on. eight years later, the brand manifested. Let's just say that. Okay. Obviously, there's always like a backstory to everything. I had always had it in mind that I would do it, but I had started another brand with um, somebody else mm -hmm. called Cocaine Man and Ken at the time. Okay. So we kind of like did that, but I've always had this, like, if I did this, it would only be for me. This is the brand that I really want to put out and, like, really push for myself. Yeah. And so... Um, that happened after the breakup, right? <laughs> well, that's the part I was trying to... to I was trying to skip that part. But <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, I'm I like, just wanted cool. to, like, see. Right, so I wanted to see, like... See, this is why I needed her here. I'm so just trying to figure I'm it out. Because I'm like, so I feel like you're, like, just speeding through and I'm really I'm just trying to look at you and listen to you speed through. But I'm like, damn, you're missing a lot of parts. When you tell the story... Tell, tell the, the whole, whole story. Tell, tell the, the whole story, story. how God showed right. up for you. So give the whole so, thing. I went through a really, really, really traumatic breakup. Okay. <laughs> hey, for the people. Come outside. It was very traumatic. Um, however, um, at that time is when I decided to get serious about actually like putting the brand out. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll get back to how it wasn't the right timing. At you the, don't at think it was the right time at the time that it happened? No. When you first dropped? Your first drop, so you're my you first drop was really good. It was great, but like even the ones after that, you but, still but had mentally good... it wasn't. So you know, it was still a good time for the brand. It was a great was time a for the brand, but it was a good time for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so I'll say that. So fix and that. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm being raw because I want people yeah. to understand that it wasn't like people seen it coming about and felt like oh like this is just happening or it's yeah. just manifesting. That wasn't it. Like I said, my idea originally came about eight years before I even manifested right. the actual brand. Right. So once I really went and got a DBA and like sat down and started mm -hmm. doing the research on it and figuring out exactly what I wanted for the brand, it was just written down on paper and emails. Mm -hmm. Then, obviously, you know how it goes. You go through a breakup, everybody's trying to find themselves. You found um, yourself. You're trying to do everything but look like you're trying to get back at your ex. So what else can you do besides do something for yourself? Use it as motivation. You know what I mean? You use it as motivation, and obviously. Power, right? And yeah. so like for me, um, I was still stuck on the cusp of like, am I doing it for him or am I doing, am I doing this to get his attention or am I doing it for me? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it was really for me. So like the thing was like, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just push it. I can curse, right? Okay, I th I'm gonna just push the brand. Um, I already had these ideas. I knew what I wanted. I had ended up contacting. Hold on, I had no. Actually, my mentor, my mentor, who's Eddie. Shout out to Eddie Harris. He's a photographer as well. Um, Eugene is how I met Eddie. Yeah. I mean, that's how I met Eugene through Eddie. Yeah. Because he was shooting some stuff 
for him. And I knew that he did brand development and things like that. So me and him ended up connecting. Mm -hmm. um, and literally, it's so funny because I tell people this all the time about Eugene, like, granted, we don't work together anymore. He's a perfect person to start a brand with because yeah. he wants to make sure that you're serious. Yeah. So like, even before he started working with me, he made me interview with him okay. to make sure that I knew that I was serious about yeah. the brand, not just like a per. You know, people get the idea because they see people doing it and they want to do it. Right. right. It wasn't like that with us. He's like, I want to sit down with you prior to make sure that you're serious. Mm -hmm. So once he actually heard what I had to say and like my outlook and my point of view and my perspective on exactly what I was trying to do, who I was trying to target, things like that, he was totally interested. Mm -hmm. And we made a lot, we created a lot of dope shit together. All of the things that I put out at first, he actually was like behind. Mm -hmm. But as I grew, you needed to break that. I, I had to break the situation off yeah. and kind of just go into um, and start doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Because there was things that I wanted to do years ago that I yo. didn't do, that I couldn't do, even ideas now that I'm doing. And the thing is like, um, I'm a firm believer that when people don't believe they can grow bigger, they'll try to stunt shit growth if they have, that they see the potential. Yeah. Oh, that's so, shit. so for me, I had to kind of just like separate myself. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I'm not taking anything from him. I just want to be real so that people understand that this is what happens. It's a journey. It's a journey. This is, I've been literally, it's gonna happen to I've been in way. business since 2016. Mm -hmm. okay, I, I thought it was yeah. earlier than that. Well, I started doing it in 2015. Because was about like a one when I was dating. No, but, but remember when I, remember really, I, when I released, when I released my first. When you released your first drop, it was. It was 2015, but it was, you only had it because. 2014. It was 2015. Because remember I was dating. It was 2015. Sure? I'm positive. No, because Kenzo was only. Point. Let's expand on that when you say, <laughs> I've been doing business since. He's but been like dropping said, it for a while, did. I feel but, like. Right, no, you my bugger. I started the brand in 2008, but the, the, at the point well, where I, 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 had the, started I developed the idea. Yeah. And then, yeah. so pretty much, yeah, I, could, I would say start then, but like, I kept it in my mind, like, no, no I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm going to do it. So 2016 yeah. comes around. I think yeah. you were just trying to figure out the name. No, we broke up in 2015. So 2016 was when I did my first release. I did that yeah, little fashion yeah, yeah, show yeah. at okay, um, okay. RPI in Troy. So then, no, because I wasn't dating. What's the call that? You song. wasn't because all right. So all right. So let's say. <laughs> remember, listen, people. <laughs> no, no, okay. No. I bought him. So when he first <laughs> dropped, when he first it was 2015. When he, when he was dropped, but the year I changed. I bought it for the guy. The year changed. He went into the next year. It went into the next year. Because remember, yeah, I'm telling you. I feel you, like me and I know for, for I, we spent that no, New Year's together. October, November, December. We spent and we spent that New Year's Eve together, me and you. So I know for a fact. Was I still with him? October, I oh, dropped it. Because I know they close. <laughs> I, uh, but I'm listen, trying to figure, cause listen, I'm trying to figure it out. I, you were. Okay, because I'm like, what year? You was were. It? Yeah. Okay, so it you was because I remember I was buying him outfits. I, I just looked at the pictures today. I know what you bought him, babes. I'm just saying that it, the year transition. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like it was 2015 when I originally started putting samples and stuff together, but it was going towards the, you know, time really flies. Yeah, so it must have. My DBA I got in 2000. You got it later in the line. I got it in 2016. So it was after I already oh put God. the really? stuff out. But 2015 was when I like actually started getting samples created and showing. So this is what she's speaking from like seeing I think things I was seeing that it before nobody that ever even seen it? before. Okay. So yeah, that's what it is. It's like you're speaking from the beginning. So for me, it's like to the public, it was out since 2016. But for us, it's been 2015. Okay. When I started actually getting samples created, um, different colorways, things like that. And Try. that's the point I kind of want to get over to people. I don't let you finish the journey part. But um, there's a difference from just doing something and doing business. Absolutely. Like the moment where you're going to get the DBA and a business account and all of that, like right. you have to do business with business. So like in... In my opinion, right. when you got your DBA, it's the moment you realize that this is a business, this Absolutely. isn't just a lifestyle yeah. and a thing that I'm right. doing. And just uh, we're going to go back to the journey, but why is it important for people to know the difference from doing business and like just making a line or making making a brand and like putting it on, Ooh, posting Jack. pictures of it? Like, what's, Where you want to start? Where you want to start? Where you want to start? Y'all both good. Answer huh? Y'all both good. Well, you can speak from your perspective, and I'll feed off your What's the answer? What was the question again? What's the, What's difference? the difference between doing business and just, like, creating something just to say you did oh, okay, it? Oh, okay, okay. Pretty much. Because I feel like once you, like, create a business, you have to, like, really break it down. Absolutely. Like, how much do I want to make? Mm -hmm. What's the goal? Like, it's all about the goal and, like, getting things done and accomplished. The mission is done. And you have to be willing and to change. And you have to be willing to change, too. Like, shift. Add change into the business. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I feel like, and, like you know... Working on yourself personally, because let me tell you something. 
people. <laughs> no, it be it's, it's, it's be like so, for me. I, all right, so I just had this conversation with her the other day. I'm like to the point where like I am so like about my business that like if a person can't, so for example, it takes usually it takes like four to six weeks to create a jacket because oh my God. everything that I create so okay, yeah. is literally made to order. Made to order everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I order from a regular designer, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't call Gucci a thousand times to say, where's you know, where's order? my stuff? Where's my order? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm. I'm they'll I'm, press send. They'll see pre-order, and then still press send. Mm. Like, where is it? I'm see, accustomed I don't to mind. custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I know that it would take a time to be made. Yeah. On top of that, if it's a new product, you're not the only person that wants it. Yeah. So for all you know, I could have gotten five hundred orders. orders. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So it's like the thing is like people people think that. It's as simple as just ordering it and like because you ordered it right then and there. It's just for you. It's just for you. It's not it's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? There's frights that are included that cause to get shit over here. And it takes a while, depending on how much you have, it depends on how long it's gonna get to you. So that's another thing. Like it's it's just knowing a lot of you gotta be very strategic. Strategic but knowledgeable also. And just not and not doing it for the hype of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it was for the hype, I think I would have been stopped. I would have right. stopped. Because so many people, so many people have started brands and the thing is like when it comes to brands, like I'm very like I know what I like. Yeah. So like even if I see somebody who puts something out and it's nice and it's not to my standard, I just wouldn't buy it because why am I I'm not going to fake support you. Mm-hmm. Now when you yeah, drop no, some I fire, I like something. Then I'm, I'm going to purchase it, it from it. you. I'm going to buy but it. But if it's not fire to me at least and like you know what I'm saying, I just feel like for my city, per se, I'm one of them ones. Like, I get dressed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's been since high school. Like, the, this fashion thing yeah. is definitely in your identity. When people think of Quay, and, and I'm really happy that, that you acknowledge fashion. that because they, people don't yeah. understand that. So for me, it's like, I'm not going to just buy it because... I want to support you. Because you're my friend. Yeah, 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 Put it yeah, yeah. that way. I don't, I, I'm going to support you. I'll support share your shit. It, I'll do yeah. all of that. But I'm not going to actually be like, yo, I'm going to put this on because it's, that's not me. No. I wouldn't do that to a regular designer. So why would I do it to you? Right. And I don't even know if they consider themselves designers. But when it comes down to it with me, like all of my what ideas. What do you mean? Are, Does, like who consider themselves We're not designers. the only two people in Albany who make, who create. How honest are, but how, how honest are y'all with each other? As far as like, yo, famous, I got this piece. Look at it. What you think? Hey, yo. We're very honest. Very honest. Got this piece. What you well, think? I would be like, what, I would be like, we've always been very yeah, yeah, yeah. honest with each other. I feel like when he first started, even when you first started, it was, you should, you know, you should do this. No, absolutely. Like, ah, but for me, see, I when I first started out, like, tell each other that. Yeah, no, it's no when problem. When I first started out, I think I was more so like, I was stuck on like the t-shirts and hoodies. Mm-hmm. That was my thing then. Like, you know, oh, like, you know, I just want to do this because, you know, most, Most brands that I see that I do that. like, like for Supreme, for example, they Supreme, do t-shirt hoodies. like they'll do things like that. But at the same time, they create a bunch of other things that are dope. And so, during the pandemic, I got. Were stuck- we talking in the pandemic? We were talking in the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> you sure? We were talking in the beginning. We I got, were still talking I got my the car pandemic. in 2020, March 13th. It was a Friday. Was that the pandemic? That was the pandemic. That's when, oh, every, that was that's three when months, everybody three had months money. Into the, <laughs> that was three months into That was pandemic. not even three months into it. Because remember, oh, they shut everything no. down. In March. Remember, I went back to work and then I stopped working because I couldn't work. Okay, and so we stopped talking in April. We before stopped talking right before yeah, my birthday in April. April yeah. Exactly. We did. We did. Mm. Anywho, <laughs> I was just trying to get the map. Yeah, that's family thing, you know. No, because it was going down the road, and I just, it just hit me, you know. No, all right. So it was, it was April. It was April twenty sixth. You know, I get flashbacks. It was around that time when we did. I always get a flashback. Like as soon as we you start getting the dates and details, it's like, oh my god. And we both are really good with dates, but yeah, like okay, I was saying. I just want to say, keep going. With it. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I was just trying to figure it out. The time frame hit me. No, okay. I'm glad. I'm glad you brought that up. So you know, family goes through things. That was that was that was a that was a family entity. It was not me. It was not made for friends to get involved in. Even though some people overstepped their boundaries, Um, the reality is we just messing these pillows up. This is my family. Um, This is actually my person. (laughs) You know, I wouldn't do this shit with nobody else but her. For real, for real. Like how um, could we? How you know? It's like I have a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. What you mean, how, girl? Bitch, who comes to Sit back and listen. Come on now. Sit back and listen. (laughs) No, for real, like. Um, I have a bunch. I'm I'm connected and close to a lot of other people, and I'm sorry if I'm getting off subject because I know we're talking about one thing. But like, uh, when I say I wouldn't do this with nobody else but her, like, I just wouldn't. Like, there's nobody else who I feel like literally understands me Mm -hmm. and knows me the way she does. And I think that a lot of times when we do have 
our separations, I'm going to call them, because we have had... We break up. Some separate, we break up. We're not in a relationship. It's kind of like a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, Bran doesn't always like the things I have to say, and I don't always like the things that she has to say, but... But we're going to say it. Say we're it. definitely we going to it. say it. It's nasty. Oh, it's it going to be na sad. It gets, it gets it's be, nasty. It gets, it gets... It'll get... Yeah. And but, then, and then but, I'll come in with a nice, like, I, yeah. how dare you? But, like, <laughs> as of now... I th and we've always been honest, but I feel like this is the rawest, I'll say. I wouldn't say more honest. This is the rawest we've been. Um, people just don't... They don't they don't get it and when I say this is my person I mean like she just she just knows what she just knows what's up prime example let me just give you a scenario of what's what, like when she, I say she knows what's up okay so boom we shot these jackets in a grocery store right mm -hmm. I was literally leaving that day to go back to New York um, I needed to get my hair colored I decided I was gonna color my hair pink I called Brand. I told Brand, yo like Let's just do the jacket. Let's just shoot the jackets now. Like, fuck it. Like, we could have waited, but I wasn't looking for a professional setting. I'm like, let's just go to a grocery store. Bitch, I said we were going to the grocery well, store. Well, bitch, yeah, you said we were going to the grocery store, but bitch, oh, okay. I agree. I'm just making sure the store All right, so correct. she said, let's go. Okay, to... yeah. All right, no, I, no, actually, she did. You did not say <laughs> yes, that. Yes, I did. You didn't I said say we it. have to go we to the grocery store. We were, I was cooking. So we were cooking. I was cooking. Right? So I we had not to we. go you to the grocery We were cooking. We had to go to the grocery store regardless. So I said, Let's just shoot it at the grocery store. Right. Since we have to go there. You was there. eager to get the food because you wanted me to cook. I saying. was eager to get the food and then we oh, wanted so to get the... We had to go get food regardless. We really had to go get food. So we had to go get food regardless. It went viral. That, that it went 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 viral. viral. Like, it went crazy. It, honestly, it really... I did it that naturally for this, though. That's, that's no, it was seriously. literally like a day. So we got... Mind you, you didn't have a cold. I didn't have a coat. Nope, I didn't have a coat. So at he the wasn't. Time. We were not. All of the coats that I ordered were sold out. Um, I literally, I had to wear Tiffany's coat that day. Wow. Her sister, like, I didn't have a coat because I was my coat was in production. But obviously, like I told you, my sleeves are leather, is leather and there's a wall. So like, my coat was still in production. I didn't even so have a coat. So that's to let people know that we did not plan that. So at I literally all. ended up. I'm like. Well, I was at her house. I'm like, I'm going to just call Tiffany and see if Tiffany let me use her jacket. Mm -hmm. Which she did, obviously, which was perfect. She let me use her jacket. It was the same size. It fit me perfect. It I think so it went perfect cute. with the aesthetic. I'm like, okay, we got the jacket. Next stop, Let's go shoot. we went to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And there were, like, we took so many pictures. So even finding the pictures that we posted mm -hmm. were, like... Those were good photos. They were great photos. I think those but were we didn't really use, good. like... The thing for us was not to make it professional. I'm not... I've done professional photography before. Before I was designing, that's what I was doing, photography. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, like, I'm not looking for a clean photo. You know, okay. I'm looking yeah. for an aesthetic. It needs yep. to be a vibe. Yep. Oh, and I feel like... Direction that exactly. A lot of the times yeah, people don't get that. So, like, yeah. for us to just do it like that, literally... Every, it was so it was just, easy. It was so easy. It was so quick. It was just... We Even, just did it and like, it was putting done. the outfit together, it was kind of like a moment where I'm just like, Like, Ooh, anybody this else needs would have be... been like, let's plan yeah. this photo shoot. Yeah. Let's do it. And, I, and like, I'm like, yo, we dead did not. And, but this is the thing. That was the second one we did that we didn't plan. Yo, the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck. The ice cream truck. We linked up in we New York. We literally, he was coming with was, me to a cookout I swear, I was to my thinking, family. Like, did they rent this ice cream truck? Like, no. Uh, we just, yo, we were dead. Dead ass asked me, did we rent this truck? Because I was in the ice cream truck and all of that. Nah, I'm like, we spoke to the guy. I'm like, listen, like. We'll we're buy going, some ice we're cream. Buying ice we're cream. buying ice cream. We're doing, content. We're going to we'll do photos. But like, and that's another thing. I feel like even with that, and I'm going to just make this clear for a lot of people because people always ask me like, you got to be confident to be in this game. Oh, man. That was my yeah. next question. You have oh, to be confident. Oh, he's so psychic. Man. You have to be All confident. All right, do you want to make me a shot? All right, so. Um, why um, he, like, I, I, I want you to finish the ice cream truck, but since you said confidence, I ask everybody this, honestly. Um, What's more important, confidence or competence? So what's more important, like, being confident when you're going into something or knowing what you're doing and feel me, you're not that confident, but you know what you're doing. Knowing like, what you're doing. What's more important? I feel like knowing what you're doing. The competence part? Yeah. All right. So I for feel you, like it was times when I wasn't for as me it was confidence. secure and uh -huh. co confident. That's why I <clears throat> I was brains all the time. Okay. So like sometimes I feel like, yeah, you could be a creative mm -hmm. to start Which a brand, I, that's what right? I am. But you have to be a, you have to be very strategic and mm -hmm. very uh, She's competent right. She's to right. run a business, mm -hmm. to actually, yeah. like, you know, build it up. Yeah. I feel like it's, you know, so. So that's where I had it. I had it when it came to creativity. Because okay. I do feel like you're more creative than me. I, I already, I've always had it down creatively, so I just felt and like, like clothing. It. As yeah. long as I have the idea and I know what I want to put out, you're gonna that's do it what well. we're doing. Yep. But then she comes in with scaling. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what are you trying to scale? What are you trying to do? Like, because for What's me, I'm going to hold you. Like, and I got to just be What's honest. The plan? Like, yeah. I fucked a lot of money up. A lot of money up. A lot of and money. And I be sitting there like, like bro, and... I literally judge him. Like, you should be taking that money back and reinvesting it. Like, you outside buying shoes and shit. Like, 
We got a we got a plan. Like we have something. Okay. (laughs) But I'm just saying because you you could be so much further. I could be than where you at. But that's not your journey. Then I also believe in your timing is your timing. Timing is definitely timing because I felt like deserving is gonna. I felt like your time came and I think that it, it was great. My it was time. good for people, but for me to witness it, yeah, because yeah, I witnessed yeah. it from behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of other people witnessed it publicly, but I yeah. felt like when her time came, it was like, it's, I it's, cried. It's her, it's her for, I cried. You know what I'm saying? Even with me being a creative, me being a designer, yeah. my shit was moving slow, but I still just felt like this is your season, mm. regardless. And I only, we wasn't even speaking at that time. We already started speaking by then. No, you did. That was when you was in the car. And we you stopped. wasn't minding your business. Okay, but we stopped and, speaking. Yeah. So, we, <laughs> so yeah, we so, stopped speaking. So what I'm saying is, so that was like after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. saying it oh, manifested yeah, it, after. It went, it went, but even though I no, wasn't it around, happened before. it happened before. But it got and then it got it bigger grew. afterwards. So like yeah. what I'm saying, so even with us not being around each other, it was like it was still pivotal for me to be like, yo. Anybody that I spoke to would be like, I kept saying like, yo, it's, it's her season. Like when it's your season, it's your season. I don't even believe in my heart that like my season really came. Mm-hmm. But the I thing is, the I thing, feel like it's the it's thing is this. Like you could feel a pretense of like exactly. It's it's like, the it's internet has a thing for perceiving things to be something they're not. It's even not. When yep. you, you know what I mean? Even right. even if it's happening, yep. it's like you could see like prime example. You could see me somewhere. I could be with a celebrity. And people automatically think like, oh my God, like, you know what I mean? Like, that could not be what it is. I could literally be with them. We could be consulting. We could be doing anything. (laughs) I've just learned to like not put everything out there when it comes to certain things. Like, obviously, I'll call, um... Me. Brand. I'll call my mother. It was like a you hesitant. Can't, like, you can't really call. No, no, no. I was trying to. I was, oh, okay. It wasn't me clearing my okay. throat. It wasn't me. It was okay. There's no hesitant like, anything. Babe. It was kind of like you was there's holding nothing, back a little bit. There's nothing to be hesitant. What am I holding near, back for, girl? I called you for every damn thing. So I was I'm literally in back. his throat. I'm just like, saying. I had to clear my word? throat. It was like it was like oh, that. It was like that dry. It was like that dry. I just wanted to get out. No, you're in there, babe. I call. So I literally been calling. I call Treasure. I call you. I call my mom. Um, I don't, I don't really call many people, especially with what I'm doing now, because first of all, when you start to break into the industry, mm-hmm. a lot of things are to be kept private Yeah, yeah, yeah. or not even to be kept private, you should but like, want this you should private. like, so they, yeah. they feel like this, they feel like until it actually happens, it's not to be spoken on amongst like the public. Mm-hmm. So like, I would want to be like, Oh, I want to call this person. I want to call that person. Like, and I just don't, you yeah. know what I'm saying? There's a lot of like, it's a lot of shit. That people don't know what's coming. They, don't, they just it's, don't. And it's crazy. And it's, and it's, good, shit, and it's good shit. But it's yeah, like, yeah. And I've me, been surprised that you were really like, definitely when them, you know, when they was trying it. Yeah. It was like, yeah. Oh, Lord, I can really yeah, grow. Sh- pull my pants down and shit on you. Grow. No, I love that. Bro, like it's really, and he don't speak on it. I can post this right now and get a thousand likes for that. The little endorphins of happiness, but but the thing is, I don't speak on it. I don't speak on it because I know it's much bigger than me. And I feel like even even with that being said, it's like I could though. Mm -hmm. Like I choose not to because I'm like that's a part of really growing as a person. Like before, like if if I buy something, of course I'm gonna post it if I want to. It's not an issue for me to post it. Mm -hmm. But when I start doing business with people, like like let me let me just say one thing. I just want to acknowledge. I want to acknowledge Alonzo Arnold, which is um, one of the influencers who actually wore my jacket. Um, Off of that post, so many doors. So many doors have opened. My DMs. So many doors. I'm talking about celebrities hitting me. Like in my DMs, like you know what Say I'm saying, and, and yeah, and I just and I just choose like <laughs> people just be thinking like, oh, it's just I, just, I don't Mm-mm. I just treat it like it's regular now mm-hmm. because I've been. Well, no, how were you feeling? Tell the whole story. How was I feeling? I was feeling like, emotionally. Over, uh, yeah, emo- so speak so, on like how right, was so, it? So you know what I mean? So like, so talk for about it to how happen the way it happened, like, it was girl. very emotional for me because it's so. All right, the thing is this: I feel like we're humans, so we plan our lives a certain way, right? It's like no matter what you do, you always want things to go your way. Mm-hmm. You can wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to come here and do this interview, but I need the interview to go like this because this is what I'm looking to get out of the interview. Yeah. I can wake up and say, I need to make this jacket, but I need to sell it this way. And it don't Originally, come, yeah. this jacket was not made for the market. Mm-hmm. I made this jacket for a person. I posted the jacket this was up. That piece. Because I'm like, like, you know, that's what I do when I do my shit. I want yeah. people to see the process, the production process. I posted face. the jacket. Where? Girl, mm-hmm. relax. Anyways, <laughs> there's nothing on your face. I posted the jacket up, the feedback I started getting from it was crazy. But then yeah. again, in my head, I'm like, yo, the barbs. I didn't think about the barbs when I was doing it. I'm just looking like before this, all of my jackets are one of ones. It's like, you call me, I'll consult with you. I'll put colorways together for you. We can do wool or fabric. We can do rib or not rib. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, 
We sweat make the pants, jacket. Sweat we could, suits, sweat, you know what I mean? Like so, so everything is literally made to order most of the time. So I'm like, yo, I hit my friend Shay because that's what originally I made the jacket for. I'm like, yo, they're responding mad crazy to the jacket. Like, and it's not that I didn't expect it, but I didn't expect it. Like, I'm not going to be one of them people who be like, like this is the piece. I knew for sure yeah, when I posted this, this shit, piece. I was going to go was crazy. That, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. not the intent behind the jacket. Because even when you sit there, I'm like, ooh. It's like, you still wasn't talking she about got in my it. ear and I'm just like, hmm, it's nice. The patches, well, you know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, cool. Like it, Once it was put together, really, like, when I seen the actual production being that finished, shit was fire. I'm like, it's fire. Like, you know what I mean? When but I was seeing then, it being, and remember when he was posting the videos of his yeah, pieces? It yeah. was giving me, like, I need this jacket. And the thing with me is, like, I want to, I do that for everything that I create because I want people to see that it's really a process. I don't want you to ever think you spent your money with me and I just sent you something. Right. Yeah. Like, that's never it. So Quality. I always say, like, one of one is, one of one is, like, the one of one experience is way better. It's different, but it's, like, literally... Whatever you want to the done to the jacket, you can have you can done have to the done, jacket. Yeah. Right. So it's like, like it's your design, okay. low key. Literally. Is that how you want your brand to always be? To Not be always. So like with these, mm -hmm. this is gonna be. Not, this, this is gonna just be gonna what buy it is. It. Mm -hmm. Like if you decide that you want to add something extra to it, like a lot, of, like so. Let me say three or four people actually added their names. Right. Alonzo wanted an issue specifically to specify who he was, so I did A's on his double A, like one one. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when he shot with it, like literally, it just it still went crazy. Like that shit my is fucking still website going, still going crazy. went bananas because yeah. I'm I'm halfway asleep. The DMs, yeah, the DMs, the DMs definitely. Went but we crazy. can't I can't talk about the DMs, but Fish, the DMs we can't say who's <laughs> no, who. No, I can't say who's who, but, but the DMs, the DMs went, are the going DMs, crazy. And the yeah. thing for me is like I and how were you feeling at that moment? Bitch, I was emotional. He was sitting. I'm like I was crying. I was like, I was emotional because the thing is like, a... when you work for something so hard, people don't understand that. Especially, I didn't know what I didn't know what was gonna happen this year. I didn't yeah. know when it was gonna come. I didn't know when the moment of breakthrough or recognition was even gonna be realized yeah. by the people. Mm -hmm. So like for me, it's like I'm at home in New Jersey, sleeping on the couch, just I finished. I, Yo, it was I made, random as I made chili last night. I made the Yo, chili. Yeah, did, I bitch. made chili that night. Um, and it was I, random. I literally was halfway asleep, and then I just wake up and I see the tag. And from the tag, is like, boop, 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 boop. the website is just going ding, ding, crazy. Ding, ding, the website ding, ding, just starts ding, ding. going crazy. So now I jump up. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, it oh, shit. I'm like, Alonzo wore the fucking jacket. Like, and Alonzo, I don't know if you know who like, Alonzo is. Like, it's like is. a fashion icon. Yeah, Alonzo I feel like, like he's low-key. He's the only one really, really, really eating it. Yeah, eating it. On a day-to-day, -day consistent basis. Never like, miss. Never misses. So, like, I was just like, what like, the fuck? The like, the shit be crazy. Because I'd be like, damn, bitch, the wig. Everything, everything, the coordination, the boots, the like, outfit, the it was bag, perfect. the so makeup. So now I was like, I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with me. I'm like, people like, I'm, it's the I'm, I'm so, the I'm so few by the business that like, when things like that happen, now I cannot go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, because my, first of my website wouldn't let me sleep. I had the app on my phone. Mm -hmm. That so shit got on my shit was just like, going, I she's mine, literally telling I me like, mine. I don't know I'm how like, you, you have it on your phone. Because I hate like, hearing because ding, it was ding, going ding, so ding, crazy. Ding, ding. Yeah, the money is coming. The money is coming, but it's annoying. I don't want to hear it. And I loved it. I was just, I was so happy and I'm just like, yo, like, I don't even know what to say, but like, so outside of that, I gained so many more opportunities. Opportunities that really made me like, yeah, good ones. I had to like, literally like, sit take back a, and to cry. sit back and like, cry. Because that like, was a good moment. it was happy tears, yeah. but it's all good shit. It's like, yo, like, this is really what happens for you when you put yourself in a different position. Right. You get what I'm saying? Isolation, you move, Isolate remove yourself, yourself from certain like, crowds, um, certain people. This is people. not the end or be all. Yeah. And for a while, it's like, I'm like, yo, it's just, like, the it's just the beginning. And like, even with me being from, like, I love Albany to death. People always say, oh, don't forget where you came from. And, even when I decided to like, this is where you decided to do this. Convert right? my name, yeah. like, so famous because a lot of people don't call me Quay in New York. They just don't. Even when I go to parties and stuff, they don't introduce me as Quay. They don't know. No, they don't. They don't know Quay. Yeah. They know famous, mm -hmm. and they know that famous is a designer. He's an upcoming designer. He's putting these things out. They yeah. like it. They so do you buy think it. that kind of like hides from like? Because you know how I believe like identities, right? So like no. you have a name when they name you Absolutely famous. Absolutely not. Is that like a part of you like hiding a certain part? Famous is, is a part of my like, brand. brand. Like I told you, so I feel like you this year. Are you just straight in branding mode? Like No, this. but even this year, like I'm going to convert myself so much that people are going to start seeing famous, who famous really is as a person. Mm -hmm. Because like I'm quite forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you can never ever take that from me. That is who I am. That is who made, that's who created Like, he famous. never, like, he never. You know what I'm saying? I was born here. I was raised <laughs> here. Like, same you know what I'm person, saying? So yeah. I don't want, I don't want people to feel like, oh, like, I, it's never going to be one of them situations where you say, oh, this nigga got on and changed. I've always been Hollywood. Whoa. I've always <laughs> carried the Hollywood mentality since I was Yo, in school. The like, whole that's vibe. me. I used to be like, who is 
Because you know I used to see you downtown. Yeah, who is I that? used to be like, oh my God, who is this boy? Uh, like, what the hell? Like, because no matter what, he always gave the same energy. I remember at one point, <laughs> he was like a little chunky, right? Mm. And I said to him, remember? <laughs> What I said was, I was like, oh, my God, I've never even noticed that. That's crazy. Cause the because the way he that. carried himself. And I would yeah. always tell him, like, you carry yourself so well. But when well. I noticed it, everybody so, noticed like, that. But no, when he showed it to me, and I'm like, bitch, wait. This was, like, a, not a clear moment because I could not. The way he always carried himself was always, like, this energy. I always told him, like, you have the one good thing you really have is, like, great energy. Right? Like, you come in. The energy is good. It's a high moment. It's good. Good vibes. Like whenever Quay comes in. You don't see vibes, energy. Like, you feel energy. So you That's feel it. Right? You feel it. So you feel it. You can feel the, the energy. So I always tell him, like, you have amazing energy. Like, it's star quality. Thank you know, I always told you that. Say. Because I just feel like he really do. Like, he can come in and it's just this 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 thing. Either you're going to be intimidated or you're going to enjoy the experience. Right, right. So I feel like it all depends on, like, how people come in. To experience people, you know and what I mean? Because I'm all about experiencing I people. Hang with females, mm -hmm. I've never hung. I don't, but you have a lot of guy friends. That like no, straight guy that, friends. Well, too. straight. Yeah. We're gonna say straight. We're oh not yeah, gonna yeah, say not the gay. Girl. Oh yeah, they I don't like you. I can't. I've never. I don't have a lot <laughs> of gay like friends. <laughs> they don't like me. They don't. I feel like they really because they can't take it. They don't, and it's like the thing is this: people expect you to be who they are. You know what I mean? This is not a, and I'm not a, I'm not a personality. I'm a human being. This right. is not for the internet. This is not for podcasts. But you it's naturally, naturally, a personality. so when people, that makes when, sense. absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah, people yeah. meet me, they don't, they expect what people talk about, but sometimes it's too much for them. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm a lot. You say you couldn't hang out with them. Yeah, because we're too much together. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm a lot as an entity, just as one self, person. So yeah. when we get together, it's like, triple quadruple the energy because like i'm just trying to have a good time like honestly that's what i live for i want to design some fly shit i want to be around some fly bitches i want to be around some rich niggas and i want to design that's some how I'm good like, shit you be hanging around like, the niggas. And my no, but that's a fact though like you've oh you cool with everybody everybody it's just not like, even a thing about this or that like uptown, everybody downtown, fucks with quay like straight, and it's just what nothing. it is and, yeah. that's, and that's and that's what i people you know, can't that's take what that. i exude so some people don't like that so that's where i go back to saying like i don't have a lot of gay friends because, because some things can't be oh. Bought, right? Or so I feel or like taught. people are taught. Or taught. And I feel like a lot of times people try to buy their way into yeah. something that you just don't carry. Mm. Yeah. So like if you don't carry it, you're not gonna possess it. And some people wanna force that on themselves and it's like, no, just be yourself. That's be who fact. you are. And allow yourself to because be you being bad. who you are allows me to actually see how far I can go with you as a yeah. person. But when that's I how feel, we work, though. When I, yeah, absolutely. Because I feel like I allow him to be like absolutely, but I have girl, to be around people who I are chill. okay with me being because he has a big me. personality. I have a huge personality, so I was like, to you or anybody, I'm like, oh, this nigga's mad extra. But to people that I'm around that genuinely know me and fuck with me and love me, they're like, that's just Quay. Like I don't understand. Like this is who he is. Why y'all so mad? Like just get you over think it. That um. Women allow you to uh, be the light that you are more being around and or like like do you think it's like uh, even for me uh -huh. I feel like when I'm collaborating and like I'll bring some interns in and like they're women that there's no ego there like I'm allowed to be the light that I am and like absolutely yeah. like be, be me that's what like, I'm saying so that, confidently that's, and oh like, that's, 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 I that's how you I'm not that. dim myself dim my light for nobody and like, I'm never this. doing that you that's why like, I what? choose not to I hang love... with gay males like now I'm gonna say oh, I, look, I have some that. really cool gay friends that are like really for me mm -hmm. but it took me out and I'm gonna say on on hand I'm gonna say three okay I'm gonna leave it at three three what gay friends that's it Oh. That's okay. it. Na you have now, or just in general? I've never had gay friends. Oh, yeah, you really haven't. I've had, I had acquaintances and associates. They were not my friends. Yeah. They were people who came around because they, they, wanted, they, wanted, to to, they, wanted, they wanted the energy. They wanted it's to an feel, experience. It's an experience. It yeah. really is an so experience. So I feel like sometimes people want the experience, but they, they don't know how to take it. They can. It has to be. You have to be good with yourself. Right, right. And if you're not good with I yourself, you're not going to yeah. be able to I can't. be if you're insecure, around somebody I'm not, I'm like not a, him. I'm not the you friend can't for do you. that. Okay. It's not, it's not going to work out. Because I feel like, low-key, if you can stunt every day, you're going to stunt every day. Like, and if somebody is already not comfortable in themselves, they're <laughs> right. not going to be able to take that That's what I'm saying. Like, you know it's what not I mean? for me. Like, like, if she calls me about something, 
I would never take it as bragging because my energy is right. the same. Like, that's my right. bitch. Like, yeah. why wouldn't I want to see her do what she's doing? And it's the same, but it's like people I could call and I could tell on the com- by the conversation that the energy feeling, gets different. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, well, this, like, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's another reason why when things started happening the way they happened so rapidly and so quickly with these jackets and with, with the clientele that I started to develop on my own, mm-hmm. it was, I can't call a lot of people mm-hmm. because there are, they're, they're like, there are prayer warriors and there are there are blessing blackers. Mm. I could have called everybody in my fucking phone book that I thought was cool to me, mm-hmm. and been like, "Bitch, you would never believe what just happened. You never believe who just hit me." But I can't do that because deep down inside or behind closed doors, you could be feeling a totally different way. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. And then to you, you might feel like, "Oh, oh this bitch fell in it because you know this person hit him up." So like everybody, I, I can't have those conversations with everybody. Right. But it's like she understands it. Because we're in the same business. And when I say the same business, I mean we literally... And besides the fact that we're in the same business... <laughs> bitch, I'm not some done so Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you have it. No, Go no, ahead. No, I'm going to finish I'm just sitting I'm here like... Shot. Finish your sentence, babes. Besides the fact that, you know, we're in the same business, uh-huh. I feel like I was believe- I believed in him before he believed in himself. Mm. I will, yeah. I, will, I will give you and that. And certain yes. I will give you that. Because it so was I'm, always I was never time, insecure. Never insecure. But and now, I was I'm talking very, about to the greatness. I was very where, timid to do to certain do things. To do certain things. And you know what I mean? I was like, damn, like how you, like I, I will always question myself. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is I don't ever want to walk into a room. And these are so green you, t-shirts, by the way. These are green. And he's a <laughs> great, great, he's a great bartender. Um, Shit's is fire. I'm, I'm drinking one right now. Shit's fire. He makes really good, like, drinks. She definitely, like, Brand is very really encouraging. I'm a and, very like, encourager. Definitely, I, I know for a fact that she believed in me before Anything the happened. Hype. So, like, before anything. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't one of those things where, like, oh, even when we wasn't speaking, like, you can't deny great shit. Yeah, 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 you can't. You can't deny yeah, great yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. If you're this bitch put something out for, and I'm like, that she did, you did your big you, one, you, you did it. Yeah. Because the thing is like this, it's not sustainable. It's easy to, it's easy to come up with an idea and want to create something, right? Yeah. It's different when you got to start dealing with manufacturers mm-hmm. and people who and really know how to create shit. and making your yeah. own shit. That's why I prefer my experience to be one of one. Yeah, so he you does know, with that. this is not, you know what I mean? This is not like the. That you know, shit is stressful, by yeah, the way. We actually gotta get into that. Good. It's um, stressful. But, but before we get into that, because I really want to talk about the manufacturing side mm-hmm. and the, uh, you know, the, 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 the vinyl the people are doing it just. But let's introduce, let's tell the world about your brand as well. OSG Girl, Girl Club. Club. Yep. Let's um, first. Break down what OSG stands for and how did it even come about? Because you going crazy. Oh my god, so crazy right now. God, don't upstate. put the. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Um. So OSG Girls Club was on set glam, and I started it when I was doing makeup, but I always wanted a business to where we were going to be providing all things to women in their day to day life. Like yeah. their glam, like getting mm-hmm. good, looking good, feeling good, mm-hmm. vibes. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna get your hair done, you're gonna get your makeup, you're gonna get your wardrobe. It's like being on set. Okay. So that's where that came at. It was like on set glam. And that was just supposed to be like beauty and then eventually I wanted to do concierge. Um yeah, beauty, concierge, like hair and makeup, all that stuff. Cosmetics, fragrances. That was mm-hmm. the vibe. But then eventually, like, I always loved designing. And when he launched his brand, I was kind of like, remember I was saying certain things. He didn't listen to me, by the way. Mm-hmm. So I was telling him to do certain <laughs> things. And it was just like awakening this moment where I had, was telling Brooke about, like, what I wanted to do and stuff like that when yeah. it came to, like, my just ideas. Like, oh, I want machine. to do a jumper. I want to do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And then she brought me a sewing machine for like Christmas, I think. Right. And I didn't know how to do like certain things. So eventually it just came to my mind was like, this is just not going to be something that you're going to be able to do because you were a fucking horrible sewer. I was in the house sewing pillows. Mm, and I really, <laughs> oh I really was. I had went to Joanne Fabrics, took the little sewing glass. <laughs> Because I was like, I'm sitting here, I want to learn how to sew, but the only thing I was sewing was pillows. So I was like, you know what, fashion brand is not going to be your thing. Like, you're just going to move on and you're going to figure out something else, but I never wanted to work for anybody. So then eventually, right, I was like testing the waters with like products. Like, I'll put out some cosmetics. It did okay. It was like, all right. And then I put out wholesale clothing. Yeah. So I was doing, I had OSG Girls essential which was still on set glam because eventually we're gonna have the big building we're gonna have everything so the name still carries um mm-hmm. 
Everything but it was like essential items, and I was wholesaling those items. And then it was like I was in competing wars with other. Well, I always had it first. So the fact that I always had like a lot of things first, it would sell out. So I made a lot of. I made. I did really, really well. And then eventually, it was kind of like I don't want to be really competing with like other women around. You know, other brands in general, just because it was more of a mental thing for me at that moment. Like once I realized I knew how to make money, I was like, let me focus on building a brand because I want something for myself like you know I don't want something that I can somebody else is gonna have the same color same style like right. it might be inspired by something but it's never gonna be like that's a fact same color same style that you can go find somewhere else at a lesser price or you can do create your own people are gonna enjoy the experience and then you know make your own team your own community so I did members only and then that's when I did oh, OSG okay. girls club so because it's a unity it's a vibe you know what I mean that's why it's called it's a bag. OSG Girls Club. Mm. Established 2020. Mm. Members only. See, this look good with the leather, I must say. It do look better with the leather. It does. I mean, I wouldn't it be really wearing do. a bag. You can make me a pink I bag. It ain't gonna be that one. <laughs> because nobody... So that that goes into the manufacturing side and the, the outsourcing. Yeah. You started with wholesale. So I like, started wholesale. So that means you was actually... Well, I did trading. So when I first started... Essential, I was doing trading wholesale companies. But like, I went on YouTube and I was like, how do you like, just want to know like what made more sense, wow. right? Like, which one is better? Cause I would see some companies say trading wholesale. Uh -huh. And I was like, why is some say wholesale, some say trading, some say wholesale trading. And then I started looking into that. Like, well, what do you know? What is that? I was watching things on you, you know, YouTube you and stuff like that. Yeah. And then it, it basically told me like, you kind of really want to go to a manufacturer. No, manufacturers. But then you want to do manufacturers with trading, because listen closely, y'all. Uh, a lot of times, good. you can have a manufacturer and they really only specialize in creating specified items, Absolutely. like certain items. Absolutely. And then you'll have manufacturers, trading companies who are they still specialize in their their area, and then they'll have partners like trading partners, embroidery fabric, all that other stuff. So like that's making your product even a higher quality already mm. because they're not focusing on everything. Absolutely. And you never want to get a manufacturer that has that does everything. It does the embroidery, they do well they do the embroidery, they well, do no, the I can't say that. Fabric. Because my manufacturer But does, yours is in a different area. You, you're right. So those people you're they right. still special they still do they a lot do, of yeah, things. Right. That's like the you're old right. ways of doing it. So it is the so very they do, they do really well. They do really they well. Do well. But yeah. Chinese people let, let's be for real. Yes, do they are they able to make quality products at a lower lower rate? They are quality. They're, they that's are. what they're really good for. Yep. So th you can't really expect you're gonna get really good items if you look for really good manufacturers who do wholesale trading. But you're not gonna really get a lot of manufacturers who just do trading or just wholesale because trading they're buying from like a bunch of mm. manufacturers. Yeah. Mm. So you never know what type of quality you're gonna get. So you know what I mean when it's wholesale. Well, that's why I always do samples first. Well, a lot of the girls don't. Let's no. talk about this. So I do samples first. Let's talk about the, the, the process. Because, like, so this is why y'all both, y'all brands, it doesn't look like some shit that, like, just anybody with a brand could print up. Like, I your, think your this is your idea. I just want to be fitting girls. It's like, I can't go online and just find this this fit, this this type of sweatsuit. And but put my brand on but we're black, like, and, and you know, and, and you know, we know our shit. Yes, so yes. for us, it's like, like I know my manufacturer. I get on their nerves. On their nerves. They like, even time. now. Big so time. Like, right now, I was just communicating. Like, so that first of all, um, obviously, let me get that pillow. Just put it over yeah, here. Yeah. Well, let's just. I was gonna let me oh, bite it over. Well, damn. damn. You knocked it over ten times like you <laughs> like you cared about it. No, it really wasn't me. It was, I'm just you know, gonna put it right. Make sure we stay in the same circumference so that we're not like outside of the lenses or anything. But um Cause this might look like a crazy angle. No, I think we're gonna look good. We're good. Um, we look good. Where were we at? Hold oh, on. The, Bitch, I forgot. Like, like the fit. Or the, oh, so the fit. So for oh, me, yeah, it's yeah. like so. Prime example. This is small, but a woman who fits a medium can fit this perfect. Tight, nice Tight, body. it'll look nice yeah, on her. Like, yeah, for yeah. me, I just like my shit fitted. So that's the reason why I get my things done. But at the same time, it's like, I know what I like, I know what I want, and I know what I like to see on people. Mm -hmm. I want to be very clear when I say that Famous Loser is not for everybody. It's not. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, if 
if you want it and you can afford or attain it, that's cool. But like, I'm not, I'm not building a brand that is supposed to be exclusive to every sing, every single person. Mm-hmm. That is why I make the quantities I make. That's why I make things the way I just do in general. Yeah. Like, and I the also one on one. This is a one on one experience. I'm, I'm a firm believer in not making the same thing twice. So even if something oh, yeah, comes out. If it sells, sells out, out, it's sold out. That's it. Yeah. The second time is never, it's never really the same hype. Yeah, unless you not. build a different audience. Yeah, it's, it's like, once and you, I like it that way because from my clientele, that already has it, they already know what they're They're expecting. not going to want it again, yeah. So now when it drops the second time, these are marketing strategies too, so take this into heat as well if you're watching this. Mm. When it drops, it's like the people who already <laughs> have it, it's already sold out. Oh, so like, like I got for 80, me, 80. it's like Supreme. Like when Supreme doesn't drop, right? You get wristbands at the door. You stand in that long ass line really? and you wait. Yes, you do. Okay. Even today, no, a, dro- a drop just happened today. And you stand in line, because it's supposed to happen Thursday, but it was Thanksgiving, so they did it Friday. Mm-hmm. You stand in line with your wristband on, mm-hmm. and then you get in and then you get what you get. And that's the thing. I want to keep my brand exclusive. I'm not going into department stores. I'm going to make I a am. flagship store so that it's exclusive. You have to come to New York to get it. Mm-hmm. And you have to come to the store to get it. Mm-hmm. You can get it online. That's always so different. Because I want to mass, I want to mass produce. Like, you, I want to be you can, in and you Trump. will. Well, not, like, I don't want to really do, like, a Macy's. I want to do, like, a But Macy's is always the first stop. I have a great But I right do now. love Macy's. Macy's I do want to really, tap into yeah. Macy's, but I'm just saying, that's not my ultimate I want to tap into I definitely want to be... all that. <laughs> well, I'm going to get all of that. You, and, no, you've been getting all of that. You will. And then I'm going to sprinkle it around to get but the rest. But at the same time, it's like... If you had a flagship store, you could do a I'm flagship store. I'm still going to have flagship stores. You should do stores. flagship, and that's I'm gonna it. I'm going to do them in every... Do flagship in New York. That's it. New York? No. No, I need that because that's I, need, no. I, need to, I need to see the line wrapped around the corner so I can understand But you still... But you know much... what? You want to know what? My brand is still a mo- Like, it's like a... Absolutely. It is. And, and it's still... Like, but, once my grand opening but happens, it's going to wrap. flagship will be crazy. It's going to wrap. Colony Center is going to wrap. It's like the flagship, though. That's going to It's your wrap. own location so right that's now. What I'm that's saying. what I'm saying. Let's talk about that real quick. Big breaking news. I know. Oh. Yeah. Upstate New York. Yeah. The, the official store. Yeah, big yes. OSG. Like, that's happening. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. happening. It's, it's happening. Real quick and, like, I know that process is a whole nother Talk about it. Thing. She just left there. I just here. left there to come here. I had, literally had to do my hair... And, and makeup the store at and the makeup store. at the store. Because I'm like, listen. So I if I look work. a mess because I don't see myself. You look fine. You look perfectly fine. You then, great. you know, don't, it was the lighting. So but it was the hard work and dedication. It's experience, isn't it? Like going into it. It's the, like, going, to, it for like. me, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Like, I felt like even the other day, like when I first got in there, I didn't even realize what I, like the first of this month, mm-hmm. like I didn't even realize like what I just did. Like it didn't hit me until like I'm talking about it. No, it didn't hit me until the other day. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, well, let's be for real. It hasn't hit me. And is you know, I don't want to get like weird, but like I'm in therapy. Mm-hmm. Um you should. Yeah. Should. From being shot. Mm-hmm. And you know, I had like a really hard just, you know, time. Mm-hmm. And for me, it was kind of like even so now things are different. So my mind is a little bit different than what it was before or whatever. So like even when I'm having high moments, I really can't see the, the things that I'm doing. So I think that's why I put out so much. Right. As you should. Because it's kind of like this. No, it's not a good thing. No, no, it's a great thing. Because <laughs> no, it's it kind is. of like the it's benefits great are great. But she it's don't kind think that of, is great, but I think You want to know great. why? Because I feel like it's this not this is OK. This. You just, I reached a mark this year financially. The thing is this. And I still couldn't even feel it, right? So it's like you're just beating this. It's a I don't want to, I want to experience out a it. a bunch of shit and putting out good shit. I still put out good shit. And that's the thing. So that's why, I that's, still that's, really that's why put it's out effective. A lot of really it's good effective quality. when it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's different when it, you just like, that's like what you I take my you time sometimes, but I'm not, I'm never going to be the girl just going, like a boomerang, yeah, yeah, throwing yeah. shit out there. You're and right? I throw, I throw quality shit out there. It has to be sustainable. It has to be quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have to really want to buy anything. But and even people got to spend money. Oh, you have to build your, your customer, you have to build your customer, customer base. base. Yeah. And you also have to choose the right people to shoot for you. Let me tell you something. I've had a bunch of, I've, I've had 101 people who wanted to do shoots for me, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's not photogenic. Right. And everybody is not models, right? So like when no. we did, when we decided to do this shoot for this, the Barbie when I did the pink hair, she did it. It was. Who better than me exactly, right. is yeah. going to literally put on for my business but me? Besides me. Absolutely. Business is why I chose you. 
the fuck? I, I think people were like so upset about that. She was photo perfect shoot. for that. No, it was perfect though because it was like, who else is gonna do it with that much passion? Everybody else is looking for something. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. You want something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want no, something. I don't care. That's, this is my friend. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. sister, you know what I mean? So, like, it's I don't different. even think we thought about it. We didn't think about it. It was not we even thought, just, like, I'm telling you, platform. I was heading to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'm going to come here and dye my thought. hair. Like, I think a lot of people it. thought, because I've seen a lot of, like, shade thrown towards me oh, about, like, certain things. And I was like, yo, you know what's crazy is? Like, when you're around another creator... And you guys, like, besides the fact that you guys both are creators, it's like you have love for this person. It's a different type of love. So mm-hmm. it's kind of never really thinking, like, what can I get out of the situation? Mm-hmm. Because it's kind of like, I want you to win it goes as much as I us. win. Because no matter what, if we both on the same, sp- and we in the same space, are we a little bit, whatever. Yeah, our spectrum is like We're still aligned, aligning. We're good. We're still going to be fine. You know what I mean? And even when we're not, it's, we're still going to be fine. And but at the it. end of the day, it's like a lot of people can't take when they see that and they see you're doing certain things because they're like, why are you not doing that for me? Because, it's like, because to it's them, not the it's supposed to be competition. Some it's supposed to be really OSG be, or Famous Or that. And it could be both. both. It really could be both. both of us. Like, We're from the same... I'm, I'm, if, this is where I'm from. At the end of the day, if I'm eating, I want, I want my friend to eat too. Because when we going up to take those bills, I'm cheap as fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't want to pay it. And I'm and I'm the big dog. <laughs> I don't, he would definitely be more of, I'm a, bitch, I'm a, I got it. I'm gonna I'll pay bill. it. I'm gonna be no, like, I'm not gonna putting do the bill. This. I'm frugal as fuck. So I'm going to be sitting there like, I would love a good split down the middle. But it's purposeful. Because you're running a business. Because I'm running and a we're in the no, business. No, but... Even with that, so let me tell you Sometimes I'll pay the bill. They don't have it I, I or have, I don't have it, I have a frivolous spending habit. Brand is more like, Fruit I'm going to spend spot. my money, but I'm going to spend it this way. Yep. Whereas yeah. to me, I'm like, bitch, I'm going to fuck what we do, where we go. I'm thinking like, this could be if going into it, this, 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 and this, and this, this, and If my man put up for half, look, if my man put up for half, I'll be good. we're spending the money. And if I'm going to get paid we on Wednesday. Yeah, and that's just that. We'll be fine. And for me, it's like, and I, okay, and I, and if I, I keep York, it. So I make great, and I make great money. You great, make great money, but so we just like, talking about even before we even got to this place where we're at absolutely. now, we were like younger. Still spending our own money. Still, still spending I, our own well, money. I, was I, st- really I still don't have government funding. Money. I still spend my own money. Oh, yeah, we were not to, government funded. To, to fund my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah, is yeah. not one of those. This is not like a, I, this is Or no drug dealer boyfriend. No drug dealer boyfriend. Maybe a scammer. <laughs> Maybe a scammer. But I didn't have... Well, listen, I'm speaking for myself. I didn't have Speak nobody. Speak for yourself. I had to work hard on my life. He ain't a drug dealer, but he, he, he got ways. I ain't listen. have... Listen. Yo, I love soon you, as I, you know what I really hate? I feel like soon as I was like becoming like a better woman... I was getting shitty ass niggas. Like always, when I was a always. shitty person. That's how I felt. That's, I that's, felt that's, like that's, when I was that's a, a part of the dynamic of becoming girl. successful. You have to test yourself. Let me tell you something. They are all gonna be shitty. You know why? Because you have to be shitty to get they there. They can't. They, you, 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 have you have to be not you be shitty. You have to have a good shit. heart. You have to have a great heart. But, but I feel like time, you don't strategy and your strategy. Dealing with like let me tell you something. You know what? I met guys now, and I tell her this all the time. A lot of the guys that I that I meet, they're intimidated by me. Mm. Like we could we could kick it for a week straight, right? Yeah. Like okay, boom. So I work I work in a bar, right? It's too much. They know I'm like I'm, a, I'm a bartender to them. When they meet, Makes I'm a bartender. really really good drinks. You want to pour me another one of your green juice? Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So I bartend now. I bartend. Let me tell you so yeah. this is not off the muscle. I work still. I get up and I work five days a week. And I work. Yeah, and you still create. You thoroughly. design. And I create and I design. I do everything. And that's what I'm saying. But that, let me tell you one other thing that I have to commend New York for. Mm-hmm. New York they is a motor. They, they bring out that motherfucking yeah. hustle. If you ain't never yeah. been a hustler before in your life you, and you go to New York. New York, York you going to be York a hustling ass hustle motherfucker out. out of you. I Over there, yes. I'm complacent. No, I'm, I'm lazy. Not, I don't care. See, I want to sit in the bed. I want to. I know yeah. I'm making money, but at the same time, like New York is different. Like you I can go, go. My first week in New York, I was at fucking Dumbo House. I have. I met so many Yo. people who yeah. who matter. Yeah. Who can actually really Big help people. me in my career? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These, these are not small people. These I are love people Dumbo who House. like listen. Like bitch, you go like, in there, you gonna see. You don't know who you're gonna see. If, you don't know. It was times I was in there. I'm like this. Quite. I'm sitting here like. But even at Fab's birthday party, mm-hmm. like Ducky was in there. I love Ducky. And I love Ducky buddy. down. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't well, want to. I think fan. I spoke about him my last I time. I didn't want to fan like, out. But I like him. I like his work ethic. I like what he puts out. I like what he does. His vibe, though. So... I feel like, can we talk about his vibe? You know. You... Enzo. He 
literally <laughs> just give buy my shit. That's it. Like he gives That's that it. you need to experience. But the people what that I'm know him, out. the people that know he him make and that experience shit. him. They love him because they know his vibe. So like he that's makes like, that but like with me, like when people that's, just, you give me that when, same when people vibe. don't know me, yeah. they feel like I'm I'm stink, I'm snooty, I'm stuck, I'm not any of those things. I'm a, listen, I'm down to earth. You, I, I, but you and, know one thing, yeah, I remember when um, Ducky first came out, right? Okay. He had his price point. Right. People used to shame him for his price point. This is another fashion design. This is another fashion design. Yeah, this is another fashion design. Ducky Confetti. Okay. People great, used to though. shame him for his prices. Like, he just came out. How mm-hmm. dare he charge these prices? Mm-hmm. But he charged what he and was worth. And then he charged what he was worth. And, and it wasn't like even where he was at. Absolutely. Right? Because now we're getting to the space where I feel like, but even though at, he expanded of of what he's doing, he expanded way what look he at was doing. the cost doing. of production. But I feel like his shit is just everything that he don't miss. He don't. He don't. So when he, he knows believed exactly in himself, to do, when to do it. Yeah, Understand? he believed in himself. When people were like, "Why are you charging that? Like, right. why are you doing this?" But I, that's why I believe, right? Ultimately, Absolutely. That you have to have a goal for your business separately from and what you confidence. think percep- perception wise. Confidence right? is important, but confidence, confidence is important. This is where, like, why the fuck do I feel like I have? Is my makeup drying up around my nose? Bitch, take the glasses off. It's the glasses. You, you is just, it the glasses? It's gotta be the glasses. Cause I'm like, why is my nose fucking She's dry smoking up? a little bit, guys. She's a little high. Take the glasses off, bitch. They, whatever. But I feel cut. like he really created something for. He was stuck. He stood hold on. Like this is my brand. This is my price point. This is what I'm putting out. This is what I'm gonna give to people. And for like a person like me, right? I can create individual dope shit, right? But my business strategy will always be mass producing it. Mass production like, is great. I want to, I want to just do it differently. But I love the fact that he, so he's an example, right? Absolutely. He's a not even example. Like, yeah, he's the highest, I would believe, nah. of like really sticking to your shit and really charging what you charge and what you worth. Like believing in what your business model. No, you have to. Is. I think people got to really, will talk really you down, start try a to business talk you model. Down. And tell you to I drop your prices. Like, nah, yo, I don't bring give a, your I prices lower. About me, I, give a, look, I told her earlier. She said, I was like, do a Black Friday sale. What you give about, I said 10%. And I said, give That's them more. That's all I got for you. He said, he said, get somebody else to do it. I'm a black designer. Right. And a black, he said, listen, get somebody I spend, else to do it. I, my, so let me just, let me just, I'm just going to use this. I don't talk numbers. I never talk numbers. Mm-hmm. But like. Oh, you want to talk to Thousand Games. My inventory production. for this month for production was 10 grand. Like ten grand, not a thousand, ten grand. And you want me to tell you who took me in to doing what I did this month? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> right here. And it was a and I'm happy that she did because let me tell you something. When you've never had to spend as much I, I spent a bunch of money be doing pro- but you doing break production. It down. When she told me to do it, I was kinda nervous at first, like, damn, do I wanna spend ten thousand? Like and I did it. But though. you saved. How much money did you save in production? I, I really, I really did save a lot so of money. So like a lot of I times, did. you mass but produce. But pe- people you don't understand money. when we talk ten grand. Like for me, ten thousand dollars is nothing. It's and nothing. I'm not saying that to be cocky, but like not no more. I don't a know nigga before. can't give me that and expect me to be okay with it. Yeah, ten thousand yeah. dollars. That's that's my inventory. That's not even. That's my inventory. I'm gonna. Make and that's when you're moving. Almost triple humble, that yeah. back, but it's like at the same time, it's like. You gotta now wait. you gotta be able to put it up, and it's like with me, I'm a nigga. Like I don't like to owe nobody nothing. Yeah. So my thing is this: I'm gonna make sure you get your money up front. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Regardless to how I got it, I got it's it. Gonna get there. Regardless to how it get paid for, it's it gonna got get paid, paid for. for. <laughs> and that's that. And people and people wanna flex like, oh, like this is another thing. I wanna make this very clear. I need people to stop hating. I don't give a fuck if you got a man. I got a million dollars. A man. I got, you know, a hundred thousand, mm-hmm. whatever, a couple hundred thousand. If he decides to invest in you for you to be better than what you were, mm-hmm. that's okay. Don't ever tell me that I got somewhere because somebody that I was fucking decided to help me. Because a lot of these bitches are running around, and I'm making this very clear, and they're fucking for free. Mm. For not free. getting nothing. And not getting anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to have a house. You don't have to have the car, but have something to show for it. Okay, he didn't buy you a house or a car, but he but invested in your business. But I was still able to do, yeah, do something. I was still able to make residuals off of what he gave me, and I did it greatly. I did it, you know what I mean? You know what really fucked me up? I feel like well, it was like once I started Ooh. really getting like my own bag. They don't want you. We was kind of like they dick don't, swinging. Let me tell you, they don't want we you. were dick swinging they even when you. I was like low key. When I, even when I was like being submissive, 
I still felt like my day to day, how I operated, was still a dick swing to them. Mm. So it was like, even if I was being submissive, like, you know, some women walk yeah. around masculine energy yep. when they're yep. making money, right? Yep. For me, I'm like, I still move the way I'm gonna move. And then if I get a man, he's gonna really, like, I'm really a bitch when right. it comes, like, a, not a bitch, but like a soft ass. It's right. all fast. Like, I'm really a wimp, swim, scamp, whatever it's called. Whatever you want to call it, baby. Whatever you want to call it. That's a big conversation. When it comes yeah, to yeah. my, a good man. But a nigga right? who don't got his shit together? But a nigga that don't got his shit together, we're going to be dick swinging. Because no matter what, in my day to day, I can get up. Let me tell you something. I just got a relationship, right? Absolutely. I cooked that man three meals a day. As you should. And still ran my I business. I believe in that. I believe in that. You have to. Still sitting there. Ladies, it is pivotal that you cook a man three meals a day and still boss up. And still boss up. I was Seriously. still running my business in the middle of the time that I was still to. cooking and still catering and doing the things. And when my son came home, still did things with him. Like, it was still a day-to-day, like, things that I had to do. And some, if you're not confident enough, like the last one. We're swinging dicks because mm-hmm. I'm going to be in your face every day with what I'm doing. And it's not purposely. It's just really me really going working. out and really working and not seeing. You know the crazy part about it is? A lot of the times I'm going in a direction because I see my end goal. But the, and I don't see the middle part. Right. So, like, when things are happening for me, I never can really experience it because I'm moving through it like, you so know, quickly. You, you, know, you know that I feel everybody like you who has a podcast upstate... Nobody. Everybody who has a podcast upstate, I'm I'm Ooh. saying what I'm saying. Oh, thanks. Okay. That you're probably the best at what you do. I definitely try to be. No, you don't. He's no, so humble. I, so love I, I love that you're Stop trying to be humble He's right humble. now. But this is not yeah. a humble community. It, it's I'm not a, a humble, humble community. I'm a humble like, let me person. Say I'm very humble. I don't humble. want people telling me to be humble. Because that's I like saying break yourself down. I am great at what I do. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody to vouch for me when it comes to that. This is who the fuck I am. I'm not. Yeah, look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When it comes to that's this shit, right, that's right, right, that's right. And that's it, and that's okay. It's okay to be, it's okay. Like, yeah. it's not your fault if you that nigga. See, like, I it's feel my, like, like for me, I tried the humble thing. It's not for Quentin. It's not. It's not for him, It's though. not, it's not. He's killing, cause, cause you're I'm killing not. yourself. Because listen, you're I, can put a, I can put a jacket out, you're gonna be mad. I can put a sweatsuit out. You can you're going to be mad. You can I can take, take a picture. picture. <laughs> you're going to be. So my thing is like, I don't even try to ask. Like, oh, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I be, I'm just humble. You know, I be, but you know humble. what I feel I'm like? Not. You know what I feel like, though? The real thing is, though, when people talk about like being humble yeah. right, or being at peace. And right. like, I feel like you got to mix the words because like being humble is like temp- it's like kind of being like humble a, is also being. It's like stagnant a little bit. I it's it's like. stagnant, but it's also like you're, you're dumbing yourself you're dumbing down your, to yo, accommodate. Yeah, you're kind of like the people in the room. I'm not doing. That. So like, bitch, you, you I'm do that. great. Listen, I'm great at no. what I do. No, I'm just being for real. Like, people I, really, I am creative. When they say that I word, they make it seem I'm as great if at what you I know do. what people make you humble seem. Nah, you the best. That's a fact. Yeah. No, you are. You are. Let me, let me tell you something. There is nobody else Can really bring in Albany out. who could have interviewed me. And this has been my co-host in Albany. I don't give a fuck how nobody. But this is me talking my shit. And me just coming outside in general, right? Because I. I'm like, really no. one of the only people that can get her outside, believe it or not. So what I'm saying is just like I you are all... you are really the best at you you, yeah. you you studied your craft, you did what you needed to do, you know what you're doing, and at the end of the day, this is what it is. Like for me, it's like we, we literally sat that together the other night and said, yo, let's do a master class mm-hmm. on how to yeah, start a yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah. Because I it's know different. everything that needs to be created in a brand I created besides a sneaker. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that has come out yeah, that I have not kill, created you do besides a, a fucking thing. I've done flies. I you have do done everything sneaker? there is to do sustainably, do... credibly, with the fucking durability. Hold on, durability. No. Okay. Hold on, hold on. That and sounds structured. Listen, I'm so no. structured. Durability is so structured because so it is though. Because <laughs> niggas don't bring it like that. I don't care if you know somebody who prints a t-shirt. They should be breaking in the scene. You can put up a t-shirt wherever you go, but it's not. It's not a night. It's, it's, for me, it's not. For me, it's not sustainable. It's the experience until you all. until until you put it out like yo, okay. What you thought about this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you could think about it in a mass production state of mind, then it's to go. Mm. I'm not looking to be the best in Albany. Mm. That wasn't my thing. That's why I didn't have a problem with leaving. It's a cylinder. It's you gotta like, be able to move. But I know for sure that I put on for my city. For sure. Niggas can't take that from me. Yeah. And with everything that I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everything. There's not even like, oh, well, he just designed it. Not everything that I do. I'm the reason why niggas want to get dressed. 
I'm just, I'm just being real. You see why he is I'm the just, way he and is? And this is why niggas like, don't like me, but it's the truth, so crazy, though. Y'all was not like, putting that shit on before I was putting that shit on. Y'all wasn't. Nobody creatively on any level. I'm sorry. What are we talking about? I'm sorry if I'm bringing my Yeezy into this. Because that's what I'm trying to figure out. Fuck. How you like, wait, what are we talking about? You do your shit, and I'm behind you. So I respect that. But who else? Who? If not me, then, if not me or you, then who? Yeah, I don't think nobody else. And there's some really creative people but up like, here, but I feel like they play it safe. They do it for where they're gonna get the demographic here to buy it. You gotta stop thinking about Albany. My, my right. all right. So this is your this reach. Is always have to be further. My where you're best at. friend Mikael told yeah. me one day we was talking, and he was like, "You know, I hate that you always try to cater to that demographic." He was like, "Stop thinking about your friends." Mm -hmm. He was like, "Stop thinking about the people in your hometown." Or people that you know. Yeah. He said. They're not gonna make you a millionaire. Yeah. This so the this people this that ain't, this ain't the drug game. So the people that order from they spend the most per order are people out of state. Always. A lot mm -hmm. of people that Always. I get out of state. Same with me. Like even yeah. though Albany fucks with me. Oh, they're watching and I regardless. I love it. Like I love the fact that Albany fucks with me, and I'm so grateful for it because yeah. a lot of people don't get that, that support is, that from their hometown. So it's really a rare thing of what I have going yeah. on, and it's surreal. Yeah. It's really surreal. In surreal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's a really good yeah. thing so for me it's kind of like sometimes i really gotta think about like what you really have like you have that's why i was gonna move but you i was don't calling have to, but, but even if you i'm did, still gonna move right because i'm still gonna move mm -hmm. but i was calling because i'm like oh help me look for certain areas in jersey because that's where i was gonna go right and i had dropped a bag or something i dropped like a couple bags and that shit was that sold out crazy, two times. Yeah. I think it sold yeah, out like so two Yeah, so it don't times. matter where you at. So from, no, no, no it, and they were all in-town pickups. Oh, that's perfect. So it was like over 200 orders for pickup. But well, we could still do that. No, we're going to do that no matter where it's at. Absolutely. But I feel like when you already have that, for me, that's where the business coming at. When it comes for to me, Albany, like, I will always come home location. to do what I need to do. Yeah. Feel me? But like, if it's anywhere else, like that's why I said I want flagship. But if it's Albany and I got 200 orders, I'm going to come to Albany to do my 200 orders. Yeah, yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up. So I feel like I'm not one of those. Like, niggas there, feel like, yeah. oh, because you get around certain people. Yo, Dylan, I've been around so many fucking celebrities, and I treat them like they're regular. My yeah, first experience was this was with you. And yeah. you was like, bitch, don't fan out. I was telling out. To calm the fuck down. Don't, don't fan, fan out. out. And like, all right, boom, I got invited to a little baby well, we album release to, party. Rihanna and... Um, we went to... It was Rihanna Best Friend. It, it, was, it was my Melanie birthday. Melanie and Rihanna we was there. And... and um, Jim Jones. I don't remember the other people. I just remember. No, but Jim Jones. Remember, it was me, you, and okay. Roddy. That I, you I went. knew who were were there, but okay. I don't remember. Like I remember Rihanna and Melissa was okay, there. Okay, yeah, right. I took. A, I took. We took. But I was like such a New York City socialite. It was crazy. At that, yeah, exactly. At that time, at that time. At that time. she was running. That time. She running it up. I ran the city. And now it was, I run the city. Well, I didn't run the city. Yeah, I, run the city. <laughs> I didn't run the city, but I ran around the city so with people who ran the city. With ghostwriting, it's like, how do you feel about giving your talents and your drip to other people? And like, are you possessive with it and all that? That's a question for y'all though, like, cause people having y'all in these rooms cause y'all vibes, like y'all cool. We're people, smart as fuck though. But we're smart. Another reason why they got y'all in these rooms because y'all making them look better. Yeah. That that energy and that drip that they seeing y'all yeah. walking with. Yeah. They copying and pasting it and like, are you okay with that? Of like giving your ideas. So you know what's funny, yeah. little baby. I when I first met him, I I felt like he was awkward. And people that don't know him can't speak from my perspective. Mm -hmm. But, like, his thing was he never intended on becoming rich and famous. So that was not a, that was not a, that was not a goal thing. of his. Yeah, yeah. Even though it happened that way, that was not his I goal or his intention. I think even going into the rap, the, the yeah. rap Yeah, so it was like, he, he's, he's a great entertainer. He's a great rapper. He makes great music. And, you know, people wouldn't understand it unless they were there. Like, oh, like, oh, so, like, you know, like how I feel is like it? that's like how we are. You can't really Absolutely. experience. Like what's I going wanna on. be like I don't everybody that comes around me doesn't get to think experience you wanna be me. So they think that he wants to be this it is weird though, because like on a day to day, I don't feel him. That makes sense. Like some people I'm like very like empath type vibes or I don't feel his energy a lot. So where it's like too much. 
you have days where it's like you'll have like three days you don't feel him there. You're, mm -hmm. He's there, which sound, it sounds crazy, but he's there, but you don't feel him there. And you have the days where you're really feeling him and he's coming high energy kind vibe. So people, when they meet him, they initially think that they're going to get these high, 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 high right. moments. Right, but I got to fill day. you out. And he doesn't give that. And I'm like that with anybody I meet. Yeah. It's never, some people will, like I say, some people will meet me. Well, say, drinking you, he fills everybody. Well, yeah. Sober well, him. Well, yeah. But if, I'm, if I don't vibe. know you and we're in the same room, yeah. He'll and stick I'm not to familiar his, his with school. you, I can be awkwardly, socially awkward. Mm -hmm. But I'm never, I'm not a socially awkward person at heart. He's not intimate. It's just that, like, I have to really, like, for example, I have, like I told you, I don't have male friends. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's really no competing between a man and a woman. You're a woman, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I meet somebody who's like me, and likes me, and we vibe, that's who I fuck with. Yeah. You got people who don't know you from a hole in the wall. It could be guys, and we go to the same spot, and they're like, oh, and I'm just like, <laughs> girl. Let me take my glasses off like, like they girl. No, for real, though. You look, either believe, way you look. And I feel like I noticed with how just hearing our story and how y'all move, do you believe it's My like, eyes are like, mad red, though. If you want to room with, and not down to nobody. People got what they got. But if you want to room with... Because everybody's of, level is different. Thousandaires, you're the next thousandaire. But if you want to room with a bunch of millionaires, it's for sure... Listen to me. You, you know what? Man. Conversations are different. They're Even different. though sometimes I feel like you could be around some people who are millionaires and they know how to... Um, cut things. They don't yeah. they know how to censor very well. Mm -hmm. You'll have like people who are real, real, real people. No matter what room you in, I'm a real you're gonna person. always be around yeah. real people real who are gonna person. be able to put you on and get you to a space. And no matter what they do in their day to day life, they're gonna always uplift mm -hmm. and uh, always help build you by like their even so their experiences. I feel money like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put, yeah, I feel on. like money definitely builds money, but I I I believe that being around people, right, good people. And and because sometimes it could be all about them the money, mm -hmm. right? And then you can ruin the relationship. But I feel like when it really comes to a point where it's like you really yeah, genuinely okay. coming in, and that person, and you want that person to win as much as you want to win, it becomes a different type of conversation. Different kind, it does. No, it's you, a different when you want vibe. Them to win. When you want them to but win, but when you got hating ass bitches you in your circle, you can't have hating people. You cannot be around it's not haters. Gonna work. It's not gonna. Yo, let me it's tell not you, gonna work. I surrounded myself with so many haters, bro. Entrepreneurship is a lonely, lonely business. It's lonely, but what? it's about finding the right. Let me tell you something. So, like, even right now, I told Brand, I said, listen, you gotta I'm, find I'm building people a outside team. of your business. Like, LT, mm -hmm. day yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's LT. Yeah. That's, that's my cousin, but yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. day fucking one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nigga's not a hater. Nigga's all for the brand. He's you feel what I'm saying? He's an ultimate creator. He's a team player. He, yeah. That's a good example. He's a team, team fucking team player. player. Yeah, Niggas yeah. cannot, yeah. nobody can take that away from him. He's a team player yeah. and the nigga creates great shit. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, for me, so, like, for me, I brought LC on as my creative director. Okay. I don't give a fuck if I made it today or tomorrow. Anything I do, he's coming with me. Because the nigga knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. and he's great at it. Yeah, and he knows. And he know. And he's strategic. And he, but he believes and in he's you. Not, and he believes in me, and he doesn't have a jealous mentality. Yeah, mm -hmm. bro. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Like, and I, you just have to be careful. Be careful. You the do. people that you have around you, you right? Do. You want to like your you tribe talk about it? will save you every time. Your, yeah. pride, your tribe is supposed to save you, and well, if they're not saving you, supposed to. Supposed to, bitch. Yeah. We save each other. Shut up. No, and, I'm talking about and, in general. If your tribe though, is like, not sometimes... saving you, it's because they're not for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, LT, like, is one of the, like, like literally, besides brand and, like, my immediate family, which is a family, I don't have a lot of people that wants to save me or that was thinking about saving you have me. A, you have a good, you have a good... I have a good, the but then more, female, more females than There's, males. Yeah, yeah, speaking yeah. Of Forget who it is. LT was like, yo, Oh, the first guy. Like, you had... Haters. He was not a hater. Who? Who you talking about? Who you talking about? <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> no, oh, no, he's an investor. That's what I'm saying. He's an he was investor. still behind. He was still No, a, he was definitely still he there. He was no. still there, so it was He was an investor, that's what I'm saying. But LT was creative. That's the difference. But you still had a group of I had base. your coin. There's a difference. That's a nigga can give you money because he wants. That's it, 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 it is support. Is it's support. It? But let me tell you something. It's different when a person is investing in you because they see you already do good. Yeah. No, it's not. But because a lot of I, because times, I, that could be me right I now. Have, I, I can say I have, right now, I'm going to invest in you because I know you do numbers. 
I but at the same time, it might not be that season for you. So suppose your shit slows down. I still should be able to believe in you so with, or, with or without because you're my friend. No matter if it comes to that money. nigga was not. So for no, me, no. I felt like I had people come to me about investing, right? Mm -hmm. And it was good money, right? Shut up. But it was not always the right energy situation, situation about it. So sometimes you really have to wait it out. Like right. And it's, it's not all money is not. I, listen, I make a lot of my money. Let's be honest. Listen, I make a lot of my money through all money ain't good money. Pre order. But when you're getting money, you can when know, you're you getting know that. money, you know that. So I know how to make money. So when you know how to make money, that's a different game. When you know how it's, to make money, save it, and reinvest it. No, the, I, you, I'm going to do all of that. You that's all what of I'm that. saying. I'm I do saying all, you of all of that. But I, when I, 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 I don't tell the whole story. I never really tell the whole story. But you but want me to tell the whole story, to, Yeah, you bitch. should tell the whole story, yeah. bitch. Tell the whole story. <laughs> tell everything. I'm Give dead. them everything. But for Give them me, tears of joy. I just, you know, I don't really talk as much as you talk. Absolutely. But I feel like when you know how to make money, it's a different game. It is. Right. It is. If saving it, yeah. But ideally, ideally, if you know how to make it, you know how to save it because your mind has to be somewhat. You will never be without. You won't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really be without because you know how to make. And you know how to the do the next me. move. I know how to make money. I know how to take money. I you know, know how, how to spend it. I know how it. to spend it, and I know how to invest. <laughs> so like, the thing with me is like, I just, I, I have one person specifically who like, he's gonna do whatever. Who? Bitch, I'm not saying we want me to say his name so bad. Talk about it. I'm, he's, listen, he's going to do who? whatever. Who? Whenever. When? When? Who? Huh. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> no, he really is, though. What's his name? And you trying to give me his name? I'm not saying his what? name. But I know you want me to say All right, so I'm going to give him a give shot. Me a, get, let's get, I'm gonna let's give get him a, a shot letter. Out. A letter. No, I'm gonna say his name. I want to do a letter. I could do a letter. I could do a letter and then really get the wrong impression. Bitch. I'm gonna say no. He could bleep no, it out. Get, but all right, don't, so don't I'm a, say the name. I'm a, bitch. Give a letter. No, if I say I can't say a letter. Leave it open. Let me see how I can't Let say a letter. Let mind wonder. Dylan, I can't say a letter because Why? if I say a letter, you're gonna get the wrong impression. That's the wrong person. How he gonna think it's, that's not his business? Bitch. With, with anybody else? Who else? And it does the other Oh, that's exactly my point. Exactly my point. So we're gonna give. You had to say his whole name. I didn't say his whole name. Real quick. Okay. So it depends. Like it really does matter who you have around you, because like even over the summertime, I was like outside. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. And I'm not an outside person. Oh, you came down over the summer. The only person that I really let bring me outside was me. before was Quay. Like, I would not... I go outside. Mm -hmm. Like, I party. But in certain crowds. Right. So I know there's nothing that's going to happen. You know what I mean? You're going to be in, like, everybody's protected. Yeah. So, like, you're, yeah. you're protected. So when it was, like, when I came up here, it was kind of like I wouldn't go outside. Because I don't do certain things. Quay would bring me outside. And when he brought me outside, it was like I was able to experience certain things that I normally wouldn't go out to experience mm -hmm. because it's not me. And I enjoy, though. I think that's why we really are friends. Yeah. Because I really feel like I enjoy an experience. And I feel like whenever and we're on the I'm phone, sound, it's an experience. It's an experience. Like, when I was working at Victoria's Secret, I loved Victoria's Secret because it was an experience. When I created my brand, I said, it needs to be an experience. Absolutely. When people come into the store in Colony, They're going to get an experience. What's going to make them want to come in to the store? The experience. Online? The you experience. experience. The experience, I feel like you have to give your customers, you have to give anybody in your life an experience. Absolutely. So, so without giving them too much, what type of things are they going to be able to experience? Is, is it the colors, the vibe of the store? A fucking experience. Everything. It's, it's an gonna experience. It's going to be everything. It's, it's like gonna going be to quality. an amusement park. You don't know what you're going to get, but it's going to be a vibe. Like I feel like I do a lot of good sweatsuit material. You do. And I know how you to do. mix it up and change it up and give different vibes. So I feel like my store is not going to be the same as every store around them. Also, Famous Loser will be only exclusively yes. carried. Yes. And OSG. Okay. So OSG Girls Club is going to do a members only base uh, where we are supporting other artists in our community. Right. Absolutely. Black owned. I, black owned. Black owned. It was supposed to be women owned. Girl, black owned. Black owned. <laughs> 
We got a bunch of women who are not black that are doing shit. We need black. But like we're doing black owned, right? Yeah. Because he made me go into the black owned area. He's like, you know, you need to do black owned because there's a lot I'm of black, black bears. people. Don't minim like don't don't get it twisted. I spend my I money feel like wherever women are, I choose to. But I feel like women are under underheard. Mm -hmm. We're under like we're we don't get the same respect, acknowledgement, acknowledgement, and, and respect. It's everything that we deserve. Mm -hmm. As our ma our male counterpart, gay, straight, whatever. Like we don't get the same thing that they get. Like we're still gonna be like a little bit lower, no matter how great we work. Like I literally cried the other day because I they felt like I had to work ten times harder than everybody else. Besides the fact that I'm black, I'm dark skin. Bitch, I'm amazing. I look good. But still, I'm a woman. And I'm a black, dark-skinned woman. Like, you know what I mean? So I feel like I have to work 10 times harder. And she's right. But I'm still going to kill every bitch in my lane. Like, and period. that's surpassed me. And that's on period. Because you want to know why? <laughs> really I'm going to work period. harder than everybody. Bitch, I'm going to do shot. what I need to do. Girl. You don't need that. Bitch, I need my fucking shot. Take half and give me the other half. But anyway, I feel like at the end of the day, it's empty. No, I'm sorry, I got a little bit of You got a little, just a little take it straight scary. to your mouth. Put up that HQ with the vibes. <laughs> we are in this bitch no straight time. vibes. Like, here, take a little bit. That's, yeah, I need a little, just Come a little on, bit. Because I shouldn't drink no more. And, we, and, and, and people, we're being, we're just being ourselves, right. you know. Just being brave but I'm, and roll oh, with y'all. Nope, 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 nope. Just take nope, it, nope. I don't need a bunch. Here I need you. a lot for these numbers. <laughs> so, like, still going to come from us. Um, even talking about, because we spoke about it, like, being black owned and stuff like that. At least we talked about it already. We're like giving your ideas and your sauce to other creators and stuff like that. So this is the you thing. You go for the type. For my bad. Well, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. You I'm go sorry. for the type that like if one of these fashion houses in a second they will grab y'all for y'all ideas and sauce and stuff like say if it's a Gucci or this or that or that. They'll grab you like they'll they'll want to hire y'all in a second for y'all source and y'all creativity. I was do a collection. How do y'all feel about doing that in kind of how these fashion houses is moving lately? They like, sell. It's so much bullshit. Yeah. Balenciaga thing that's happening. I feel like even with the Kanye <laughs> West like, the Kanye you know, West situation, I feel like yeah you yeah you literally sat down to meet with him. He was always going to be an uh, what is it called a liability. Oh, because yes. at the end of the day, when he brought his ideas, they're a business mind. That's why you don't give your so ideas away. So that's why you can't give away. Certain people, I'm so going to say. No. Listen, different. no. Unless the deal is differently. No. Okay. The deal has to be set up differently. Because what it has to be. Virgil? Absolutely not. It has to be different. Because you. It listen, has to be black owned and black felt. I felt like Period. a lot of times people ignore the market our market is black people period black people are the ones that's buying up most of everything like period. they're the ones that's spending the most money in in retail Bitch saving and whatever checks. they're the ones that say they're doing certain only things. the things i live no, in jersey it's not even so that they, they credit more they, they they're doing more credit all right they're they're putting more things on finance. They're getting charged more interest than any other pe any other race. And like, we, we and we we that. we are the ones who Listen. make it fucking hot. Why not stand on your own? Like stand Black on your own shit. make shit pop. We are it. Let me tell you it. something. Everybody only wants We're to it. wear designer because they they the first of, look how quick they are to put Black people in it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna sell. Yeah. We make but, the money. But ask a Black owned artist to go into a Black owned designer shit. Look, let me hold don't on. Do me, it. Little baby does. He does. He does. He's the right? most. He's the it's most. It's a lot of people the who most... do it, but they do it at the moments where they're already popped. So I'm it good. doesn't matter who ever who, it's gonna be. I need you, you to believe in, in my room. shit. No. That's why it's ill for Alonzo to put on your brand and like. That was a good. Because, like, let me tell you. Think about all yeah. the shit he could be wearing, like. And, and tagging. And Let's talk about tagging. Can we go down his and tagging. Can we go through? Tag nobody. Can we grow but through? Is a no. Fucking ghost Listen. For that. Can we talk about the fucking tag? The tag was because nasty. alone, I see him tag it on the picture, but a lot of people don't hit the picture, right? We, we do. Listen, Listen, but can we look? Can we talk no about tag. it? Can we talk no about way. it? Can we talk about oh, it? But he was in the caption. Yeah. 
He tagged, she tagged him in the caption. Jack it And by. when she tagged him in the caption, that created a different, whole different environment. Let me because tell you guess something. what? My fucking what? Your following went up like. My following? How long? How much? My, I, I, I can't even count. I'm not going to lie So now. many. His following my went following up like. My following went crazy. 500 to 1,000. It was like somewhere It was over that. Right. It was it over was a thousand. Even it was now like it's over time. that. It's still going up. It was, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't like in the thousands. I'm in like over 2,000. Yeah. It's changed now. A lot. Alonzo the contact? created the contact, the fucking influencers that hit me on top of that. Alonzo. Did Alonzo did what was, was, was needed? After I did what I did. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. As, no, absolutely. No, no shade. No shade. You know, I created the vibes. So. It'll never be like this. Look at how you always be like, bitch, you know, I created the vibes. Like, get your narcissistic, self absorbed ass off my set. You're fine, girl. I'm fine. Bitch. Nah, that's fire, man. No. Tag, how you be joking? That's dope. No. Bro, that's that fucking tag. Like, that bitch got influence. Like, her influence is crazy. Nasty. Remember when we were talking about her before she came out? Not bad. Right. Remember when we were talking about, like, Tokyo? Well, so they're her. Under, all under the same people. They're That's why it was crazy for fire. Tokyo. So like, like, all right, so we were we said Alonzo. You no, you said Alonzo might be next up. Yeah, and I was like, no, I don't see. And her. then so boom. And when she came out, the way she, she came out, she did her thing. She did her thing. Let me like she did not. I, didn't, I have so many more influencers that are like, they're coming. I can't even speak on them. You know they're coming. She they're coming. Crazy. You know they're coming. They're coming. She's gonna be crazy. Because the, the thing girls is, is going to be, you know you what? You can't deny quality Can we talk shit. about this? I love when people jump on a bandwagon, right? Oh, yes. Can we talk about this? Yes, and it's not going to be, this is really like, sometimes like, right? Because I'm going to make it a little spiritual real quick. Do your thing. I feel like God really like throw things at you. We, we claim the devil. We claim the devil evilly. Like, this is the devil doing this. This is this, 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 and this. But I feel like when you already are, like, a spirit within yourself, right, sometimes you're going to get a lot of things thrown at you and it's going to be a lot of public views. It's going to be a lot of crazy things saying on your name. And it's going to be like... Uh, it's going to be a period where you feel as if that you not, you might be questioning yourself because you like, yo, am I really this person that people are speaking on? And but then not. like, and you're really not, right? Sometimes, well, you do a lot of crazy shit. I'm but a crazy you're bitch. never, but you're never really like, Sometimes things might happen in the moment, but you're not an ill intent full but time. I have a good like, heart. I have you a have a good heart. heart. Like, heart and I feel like you, sometimes people really have to get the whole. I just gotta, you know, I gotta be honest when I'm speaking on Absolutely. my things. So, like, I, I feel like, really, honestly, like, sometimes people can't take, right? But you're naturally given. And it's always the tongue. Like, people speak things, people put things on other people, and they just push it out there, and they push it out there, and other people take it. Weak minds take it. Instead of saying, let me experience this person, let me see who this person is. Absolutely. And, and really seeing the person for who they are versus what you are allowing yourself but perception wise, mm -hmm. right? So like when it came to him, it was like it was always this hearing things of. It was never really the experience of really experiencing a person. And not expectation wise. Like you sometimes you gotta break that expectation of this is what I heard, right. this is who he is. Right type of situation. Sometimes you got to break that. And you got to really be able to get to know somebody and really see somebody for the greatness that they are. Yeah, and absolutely. allow them to be them and you still be yourself in the process. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I feel like no matter what, Quay always been who he was. With growth. With a lot of growth. A lot of growth. But a lot of always growth. been who I But am. he always been in the core. People don't understand their core. Yeah. Get to your core and who you... People might think that I'm, like, rough with a lot of stuff that I say. And I'm That's like, no, I'm good. I'm good when I curse you. I'm good when I get to that point where I really have to... When my subtle ways didn't work. Right. And I got to come to you. I'm okay with that. Right. And people got to be okay with who they are. And I feel like that's why I always love you. And Aww. I always appreciate for him for, like, you know, certain ways. We love each other. Because I feel like he really is going to be somebody who's going to genuinely say how he felt at that moment. Mm -hmm. And then people got to accept that. Yeah. People are not always looking to hurt you, hate on you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are really frustrated because they see the better parts of you than you mm -hmm. see in yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to be okay 
with that. That's if it's not harmful. And you see why I, who, I couldn't have chose another yeah. person to do this with me because she knows me. So like a nigga that don't know me would have been like, oh, he's not. I'm not, bro. It's just like, like my thing is, just, I don't fuck with nobody who don't work harder than me. I yeah. can't. If you don't work harder than me, I cannot fuck with you. Because but I'm gonna, I work hard, I'm going to focus on what you're doing. Like, you're going to focus on the people around you, naturally. Like, if I'm sitting around a bunch of broke-ass people, I'm going to think I'm doing good. Yeah, of course. But then I'm not going to realize that then I come my like, good bitch, bitch, shit is not good enough when I'm around a no. certain crowd of people. You don't want to be the smartest of the people around you. You want to charter a jet We not charter Our no Our goal is different. Feel me? Like, we, 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 I'm like, bitch, I'm going to charter a jet for my birthday. Yeah. That's safe. It is going to happen. Like, like, it's going to happen. Like, you really got to be in the it's same gonna thing. It's going to happen, but the thing is, like, you got bitches who like they, they, their mindset is not there. Be stuck on so for them, it's like oh, a jet. A jet. Oh, he I don't doing, have the oh, money. Oh, he doing too. He's so extra. Look, nah, he think he's like, better than like, you. I'm there. Like, oh, yeah. No, I grew. No, I grew, I grew. I but I know what I yeah. want. Also, yeah. I this is what I want. But I'm getting a jet. I'm going to fly a jet. Who I am. I want the same things I wanted two years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. A jet. Because it, it gives I a different. You know what I don't like. You know what I don't like about that though. It offers like I see. I'm so contradicting in like my day to day life. Mm-hmm. I feel like because like then there's a part of me that like I don't owe you that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I and don't you owe don't. myself. I don't and you owe don't. nobody to hop on. I'm a, a jet. great person. I you know just, what I, I mean? Great for people around for me, me bitch, it really uh, be how I feel I when I'm jet. coming out of my situations and when I when you go as a business owner when you go through a month you can go through a month no sales. Period. Then you Talk get to that it. month, you done went three times up. Yep. But and you got to get through that period of not feeling nothing and not getting and nothing. Said, and people quit in people the middle of that get season. That. I'm a survivor. Like, Look, that's surviving shit. So when like, you I see cockiness, who, the cockiness. Who, 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 not the greatest seasons. Yeah. Where the shit. cockiness come from? Within. It becomes from keep coming over shit. It's not because shit. a bitch told me nothing. It's because a bitch... I Nobody. know what my shit looks like. When we I know up, what I'm capable of. Sell your shit. When we put up a post and we putting up something and we put, taking pictures and we out there doing, that's fun. When people take it and they run with it, that's, the, that's, their, perception that's their perception of what we got going on. We wasn't cocky when we did that shit. We shoot. wasn't before we that. We was on some you know shit like this. We were in a grocery store. We were going to go. We got a kid. We got to get food. We got to get, I mean, like, Let's we was take regular. Because we're, 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 we're still regular people. And people don't, like, don't look forget at it that. that way. We it's are. Like, what, what perception wise? But that's the internet for you. They don't see the that's cries. The, they don't listen, see the fucking depression. They don't listen, see you in your therapist's office every something. week of the fucking day. I work hard, like, bro. It's hard work. I work very fucking hard. Mm-hmm. So whatever something comes, if something something's coming my way, I deserve something comes it. Way, I deserve it. Nobody can not tell me nothing, nigga. I, I bust I my cry. ass I'm so to grateful. get where I am. I cry. The connections and I I've made, yeah. the people I know, the things that I've done. You feel what I'm saying, like. You, you're mad. You're mad. Right. You're mad because it looks like this on my beat. Like, this is the thing. It looks like this. You, you don't even know what see it is. what I've been through. You don't know that I cried ten times that night because this shit yeah. happened. But because I look great, or I couldn't eat, and a I pulled days. up and I did it. Yeah. You feel in the way, and that's okay. Feel the way. You're a natural born hater. That's what that shows me. But you know what I thought? But you know what I realized? What Sometimes happened? it's not even hate. It's, envy. it's the fact that it's envy. this person is able to carry this and care keep going. Listen. Yo, That'd be bro, really mad I about carry that. Carry it out like I carry it out so smoothly and so well that like my ex told me I didn't know that you know sometimes you were okay. I thought you had a way of making things look good. Right? I'm I didn't know that neither. I feel like I didn't know until you told me. No, I'm, a, I'm no because because that's but that's when nobody Remember ever asked me if I was like, okay. And I told you that. I'm a great person. At the end of the day, bitch, I go through shit like everybody else do. I'm a real fucking okay. human. No, we so can be we real. We're gonna, we're gonna be transparent. I feel like I'm a real person. A lot of people around me don't think I go through things right. because I carry my shit a certain way. Yeah. Until One I thing about me seeing... is work's gonna get done. Mm-hmm. Work's always gonna get done. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what I got going on. A nigga could break up with me right now. I got work to do. But I'm gonna cry tonight. You feel I me? feel like once I started that. seeing, once we built our relationship, yeah. and I started seeing certain parts of like those moments where you were right. like breaking down. I'm a real fucking I'm person. I'm not really emotional like that. So like, even though I can understand it, because I'm a real person. I really, really sat there and really was looking at him like, yeah, uh, I'm a gather real yourself. Like, what did I and tell that's, you? That's, and that's I the used thing. to be the so. Because you, can I talk about this? We never really, 
Cause shut up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we never really. You've been cutting me off the whole night. Calm down, shut baby. I up. love you. Talk your shit. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, bitch. Talk. But like, we really don't acknowledge men's um, men emotion, mm-hmm. like a man's emotion. Mm-hmm. So it's always this shut up, be quiet. It's not that serious. Relax, type of vibe. And when I was dealing with Quay, it was like this, you can't, like, you're not going to stop me. I'm feeling this way and I'm going to feel this way. I'm emotional, bitch. And you're going to accept it. You're going to be my friend and you're going to listen. And I used to be like, this is a lot. Because calm it down. And he would never, he would still give me, like, a bunch of energy at one time. Always and always. And it was like an eye-opener. Well, not really an eye-opener. Because I still feel like he was, like, a feminine man. <laughs> I am, but bitch, I have emotions. So I still didn't bring that over to like straight men thing, but for like gay men, I, I built this compassion a little bit to where it was like you need a bit of a straight man, not for gay men. No, well, we can handle ourselves. It's not saying just crying. shut up and let me say from my perspective, like I felt like he needed a little bit more care than the average straight man because straight men I still did not consider for years. Mm. Like, I felt like once I met him, I was able to consider him. <laughs> but like you said, you're his person, so he was able to yeah. open up and have it. But does yeah. it sound crazy? That's my person. Do it sound crazy? Um, it does not sound crazy. It's just that you you know me, so it's different. I know you. So it's like, all right, so it's like me not knowing a male, right? And he comes in, like, for example, like, and you know And he's mad me. emotional. But like, people will oh, take I'm me, like, oh, he's, oh, quite, oh, some people will see that side and say, oh, he's mad emotional. But I'm not necessarily emotional. It's just He's that like, I need to be heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, we've always had a relationship where, like, I could I, be like, heard, bitch, you, I'm going to cry and right I'll now. Let me cry. And you're going to listen. And because I would try to shut it fine. down. That's what every man knows. No, you, you Honestly, need that. You need that outlet. That like, my fiance is that person for me. Uh, no, he's absolutely. I, I cry. I lost two brothers in the last two oh years. Oh, my God. Like, I used to date Keith, like, by the like, way. Like, like, as a man, I was like a whore, kind of. You were not a whore. Shut up. We're expected to be like <laughs> No, I wasn't a whore. I wasn't a whore. All day masculine and not No, so cry, weird. bro. Feeling cry. Like, bro, I believe bro, in crying. It's, it's really, crazy. really hard. It's crazy if we don't have that woman in our life. Yeah. I'm going to cry. I'm going to fuck. To let that he put it on he Karan, put it on me as a friend. I used to be like, looking at me like oh, person, my, oh my god. Yeah. I used to be sitting there like you need I didn't person. know wait, did I know what to say? No, you need, no, you didn't, but you know. At moments I would have when it came to like him, I would you have encouraging words, right? When it People came to relationships yeah, you didn't know. and like in like his other interpersonal relationship, I didn't know what to say because I'm like I am not in person. there, so I can't encourage That's my you. Mm-hmm. People don't understand, like yeah. I don't nobody 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 can get like even the other day, I was going through some shit, and I called her, and I was like, bitch, like, I'm ready to do this, and I'm ready to do that, and I'm ready to, and she's like, oh, just relax. Just relax. It's not And I'm like, it's not, and, and, and once she said it, it was like, it's not. But when anybody, anybody could have told me that, and I wouldn't have listened. Yeah. I would have been like, yo, fuck that bitch. When you I'm, really I'm be crazy. shitting on exactly. people in life, in like, real life. And, and that's the point. But can we it, talk about it? Like, listen. Real quick. In life. Can we talk about it? Let me just talk about it. Talk. When you really, like and people. not to be <laughs> on a elitist type of status, because no matter where you're at, you're still one, mm-hmm. right? You guys, everybody still correlate with each other. You're still human beings, and you have to treat other people as human beings, right? But, like, people who really don't understand, when I really, like, shitting on you in life, I don't have to go on. And these are the people that's trying to hurt you. These are not other human beings. Right. They're people that's really trying to break you down because of what God set up for you, Right? So when you have this thing and like I'm shitting on you in life, I don't have to address you. Ever. My every day to day, day, breathing, waking up, my breath stank. Ever. My booty loose. This Whatever's going mad. on, you're still gonna be fucking mad about my existence. Right. So guess what? You have to one your your situation, your peace, your katra, whatever that shit is. Yeah, yeah, get Castra, but get you're not. Catra. But you're I'm not. Fucking you're not, me. You're, you're not, not me. And you're not. And you got to really sit in your shit because guess what? I'm I gonna shit mine. on you every fucking day because guess what? I sat in mine. I cried. I spent those days where I whatever was going on. Absolutely. But guess what? I'm still gonna beat you. At life. At every life. Time. Every time. Because this my not, mind this is not. This is, is not. This is not checkers, people be so competitive. But competitive. I beat you every time. I do. 
it's not even about them. It's not about them. It's about you. It's really about you. But that's what it boils down to. It's like my life is great. Like, let me tell you something. For the first time in, like, let me see, I will say eight years, I, I don't have to complain about anything. Everything I want, I have. I'm good. Even when I be complaining, you be like, oh, girl. And I'm like, bitch, let me have my moment. And I love that. I want you to, but bitch, it's not that serious. Bitch, it's look how good you're doing, regardless to whatever. They still stress like, me out like, my you day to day. You gotta look at the competition and be like, like the, listen. The, the thing had, the, the roles were reversed. They reversed, right. The things you would do to me, I do to you now. And like I'm saying, like, the thing is just like, I pay it. But you girl, know why? You could beat me at a bunch of things, but bitches you can't not beat me at me life. life. You can't beat you're me at not. life. You're not. You're just not. I'm really. I'm that girl. Like it's it's, it's no shade. Like yeah, I yeah. have manifested what I wanted. I have the nigga that I want. I do what I want to do. I create what I Did want. You, speak you know what his I'm name? saying? So we gonna do a part two. Ah! That's okay. This is where so the show that. comes in at. You can do that with the all black guy. But he needs to come to the city when that all black piece come on and do a whole family that Bills whole day. Network is coming soon. You he's said cutting that. us off. Let's let's get the wrap it up. Let people know what's coming for 2023. Go ahead, Listen, 2023. What is that given? Is like it was manifested. Let's start there. Okay. First of all, like I am Fuck like manifested. I am it was, it was, it was, extremely. Yeah. I had to stand up for this. Wait, let me put this in. Here. I am extremely on. fucking stoked for 2023. 2023 have, has brought things that I didn't even think were capable of happening. I have collaborations. I have fucking deals. I have fucking merchandise that is fucking immaculate to the point where, like, you can't deny it. Marketing? He said, he said sit down. He said, sit, sit down. down. He said, oh. sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Bring it down, bitch. Yeah, no, but hold on. No, please. seriously. Like, and, like, I'm just, I'm in, I'm in a great space. I, I'm not, I want to make this clear as well. Can I please make this clear in life? Go, go ahead. I am not beefing with anybody. I don't have beef with anybody. I don't, like, I don't, I don't think people understand that, like, when you actually remove yourself from a certain place. Your spirit is different. Your spirit is different. Right. Let me tell I told you, I said, when I go, to, when I'm in New York, I want to work every day. When I'm in Albany. I'd be like, sit your I'm ass go down. Sleep. I'm going to get very much, oh, I started to say when I quit. I dozed off. It's, I dozed off on the job. <laughs> like, you know I, mean? I just, it's not the same. So, like, you don't have the same motivation. Your hustle's not the same. But the thing is this. Tap into your real hustle. Mm-hmm. I'm, a, fam- I'm, I'm a famous loser at heart. I'm a real nigga. Remember when you nigga. called me about the name? You were Bitch, so excited. I'm a real nigga at heart. I'm a famous motherfucking loser, nigga. That's Niggas right. can't take that from me. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody want to be famous losers. Why? Because why not? Why not? Why what not? What you want to be? Why not? What else you going to be? A loser? Who wants to be a loser? You got to be a famous loser. And nigga. then a, a loser loser. A you loser be a loser. A famous loser. You got to like, like, for me, And a like, lot of the like, girls be... Famous losers. Guess what? They Shop do up. be. Getting no matter what it is, get into it. Twenty twenty three is like it's like I'm, it's gonna, say, I'm, gonna, say, I'm gonna say this. My fourth quarter for twenty twenty two was amazing. Eight. Tear it up. So twenty twenty three is like the thing is I'm in. Uh, Wait, you me, ordering the call, the calls by bulk? Well, him ordering his doing his bulk order. That's gonna take his twenty twenty three up crazy because he's still gonna do the other things. It's gonna be up. It's I want. I, like, I have so like much more in store. But I want people to like my, my biggest goal. My biggest goal for anybody is this: I believe in myself. You can't. There's nothing you can tell me about me. Nothing. I Besides know. Besides God, I know who I am as a person. God did. I don't listen to outside critics. I'm really that nigga. You can move. Like, and that's move. a. This is this is a fact. This is not like oh he's on he's on you know he's on rap deal so he's like. Nah, like, you know how when bitches talk shit to Nikki yeah. and she's real calm and she's like, hey. I gotta pee. I'm, I'm, I'm really me. Like, I mean, like, you can meet me anywhere, any given Sunday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, or whatever. I'm a B. Quay Graham, nigga. Like, that's who I am. You know what's crazy? What's my name? Your name is Vantasia Graham. I thought y'all was brother and sister. I go. Nah, we're not brother and sister. But we like, we, we, it's thick enough. No, that's my real name. That's my real name. That's my real name. My name is Vantasia It's thick enough to make us that, but it's a thing. Nah, we just we, can't we, make we, we met. Like, we met. We met. We met as friends. That's that's crazy. We met as friends. I met you as someone friends. That's not a common. You met me. All right, so she met me through Tia. my Tia. Yeah, and coming to my house for something. I don't whatever. know what it was. Living downtown. Right. And I, I see. I heard about you. Always and always. I feel like he said something about me, but I don't know. I ain't never said shit about you, bitch. 
that yo, that that's the universe though. Y'all have the same last name. And we do. Yeah, happen. And last they last drew name. us together, and, and they automatically the combined us. So when yeah. I met him, I was like, and Are I you And I called her to do a shoot for me. This when I was doing photography. I needed her as a muse, and she came and she shot. But I really knew you, you before. Did. I remember you. You before did, that, but we were we not friends though. We, we weren't. weren't no, we weren't. We knew you. We weren't friends. Yeah, yeah. I, I think when I met you, you know on the photo shoot, my energy was just like. That's your friend. That's, that's fine. Not the country wisdom. Fantasia, what you got coming from 2023? You know you got the store in college. 23, besides the store in Comedy Center. It's going to eat it. I, I'm eating y'ass. <laughs> it's going to eat it. It's going to eat it. Because she, no, because, my dad, because spreading your she's doing apart. what she's supposed to do. I'm setting it up. And exclusively, Famous Loser will be carried in Colony Center at OSU Girls Club. Store, yes. Period. Yes. Period. Yes. No yes. other yes. store yes. besides like my flagship. Only there. You yes. cannot get it anywhere else. The best. And you of bitches the best. better not be stealing because y'all thieves. Yeah. No, we're gonna have. So I already thought about it. I already thought about it. Famous loser is gonna be on the back where I'm gonna carry my high value, my high yeah, value I item. I'm gonna have gonna these be coats. On the back. I'm, I'm only gonna put everything. one size out. So like when that one size is out, you get the concept. You, you get doing? your size. I know what I'm doing. We've been there. And this. we're and excited. No I was also a booster. So you know how it goes. I'm gonna so make I that clear because like, So yeah. I know, I know how it goes. I know how to put my stuff in the thing. Mm. I was never yeah. a good thief. Story. It's winter time, so you know it's the best either. Put it in your coat. You're not putting it because I'm gonna see it missing. And for me, I interact with my customers but so well. It's like, girl, you gotta be real. What are you doing? Let me tell you. If, if you could be, anything, I'm bare macing your fucking ass. You do that to the corporation. I'm going to bare marry you. Bare mace you. Always gotta be real, yo. What's the socials? What's the website? Okay. Oh my What's goodness. Mine? Let me it's say fam- mine. Famous is NYC <laughs> for Instagram. Okay. I have www.famousnyc.com okay. for the, the socials for you to purchase. Uh-huh. Facebook. And we have a sale going on right now. Fam- so Facebook is Quaygram. But I also have a Famous is NYC Facebook. But you have to kind of on, honestly. Add him. Kind of add me through that and then you can get on that one. Okay. But like, I don't really do sales. I'm a black man. He, black okay, business. I have a discount Y'all like called, Black Friday. Okay. 10%. That's it. Okay. Uh, and also, if you shop with Famous Loser through me. Well, through Brand, yeah. You can get black 10% off. Absolutely. 20% with you. Oh, we're going to give them 20%? Gonna, I'm going to give them 20% off. Okay, so we're going to give them 20% off. On, I got to add I'm gonna to my have site. You, so the Barbie okay, jacket so is going to be on your site. Okay, we're going to add the Barbie yeah. jacket to my site. This yeah. is going to be a part of my members only part we're, we're really focusing on women owned lgbtq l d l y all that d- not, no, not the dl niggas the niggas dl y dl y we're adding all of those people into our crew we wanted the people who are not seen to be seen Absolutely. and heard and, and out there felt. and be felt and be heard. their energy deserves it always and always so my my website is OSG Girls Club. So it's www.osggirlsclub for everything. And you're going to be able to get the jacket that I'm wearing. You bitches need to get into the fucking crop versions of everything. No, child. They got nothing to Show your coming. waist. And your, oh, oh yeah, so I designed a special piece for Famous Loser. I want y'all to tap into that piece. I'm going to be promoting on my page and my website, the whole vibe. We're doing the jacket and the skirt. Live. On my it's website funny. because it's an exclusive rap. It's an exclusive rap. Dills is the first one to hear about it. Quayshawn, speak about rap. Dills, you guys are gonna be able to fucking buy it. Uh, are we se- are we gonna sell it or no? Okay. Did I just do that? So it was a one on one, but so, I feel like y'all gonna want it. I I lied. I nah, lied. Okay, so boom. But I feel so, like they're gonna so, want it. So we did transformer and crop. They're not gonna want it. The, the skirt. It. Fuck the jacket. You, de- you designed the it. I spoke about the skirt. I All right, so boom, it. I have a Transformer jacket coming, crop top, plus the skirt. The girls are going to want it. Why wouldn't so we're it? adding it to my site. We're adding it to the site. Eat it up. There's no shade. They're going to they're gonna have to eat it up. And, it's going to be the And we will be back for a fucking part two. Oh, I just got to say. Because I wasn't done with part one. <laughs> <laughs>